I thought so. How you guys doing? And welcome to I'm on Observation Duty 6. Holy moly. I don't I was gonna say the S-word, but I can't do that because it's the first 30 seconds of the video. I just five minutes ago received early access for this game uh by the dev. I had a whole plan. I was gonna do Phasmo. I had like four challenges lined up for today. We were gonna go crazy. And then suddenly I check I, I copy paste my Twitter or my, my notification for the Discord over to Twitter and I see this bright blue box underneath the messages section and I'm like, hmm, who sent me a DM? Let me check it out. Boom it's Natovia. Boom I got a key literally five minutes ago. <laughs> and I was like, all right, we're changing the entire plan of the stream. Throw the wheel around because we are are turning the ship around and we are playing i'm on observation duty six we are literally the first per people to ever see this game it is super exciting we already know huge man is in this game and there's going to be so many cr more crazy interactions there's also a new inter or a reporting system in this game similar to para eyes which i am super excited for because i love that reporting system i think that's a great innovation for para eyes i'm super excited to see that in this game Holy shit, if you can't tell, I'm ready. I'm just, we're just gonna go say hi, YouTube, and have an incredible time with this one. <clears throat> and let's do it! I'm excited. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to I'm on Observation Duty 6. Literally five minutes ago, I received early access for this game, and I am so excited to see all of the crazy anomalies that are gonna be in this game. The game will be coming out on Friday, which is probably tomorrow or the day that this video is uploaded. I don't know exactly, but I'm super excited to be the first person to see all of the weird and crazy and insane in anomalies that are gonna be in my, and I'm on Observation Duty 6. I don't wanna waste any more time, so let's hop in i hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go oh baby <clears throat> all righty turn it up we're doing 80 look at the music he's gone more he's gone more normal music this time <laughs> uh what do we do pause reports what is this reports on or off what does that mean display ui elements i don't know what that means but we'll probably change that later also need to change this down to 60 so we don't waste unnecessary power on that and i think we're just hopping in <clears throat> now i don't I, I let's just click start select a level train hotel hospital university summer cottage and pool six levels i had no idea by the way it literally just dropped out of nowhere it's gonna drop in two days so let's start i guess with the hotel let's do the hotel or summer cottage let's do the summer cottage level that sounds interesting i don't think it really matters summer cottage our international branch has received reports of anomalous events happening in a remote summer cottage in northern finland numerous instances of objects replacement and extra objects were reported by the owner they originally thought their wife had been bringing old junk to the cottage but later realized that the objects appearing were of anomalous origin the owners of the cottage say they witnessed a large messy and extremely me melodorous man emerging from the woods huge man to chop wood in their yard the owner's wife recalled moments when they were sitting by the sauna and could swear that they saw a humanoid looking creature in the water okay we can swap swap cams a and d we can report okay so yeah uh here we are in the summer cottage and we can report by holding the click instead of doing the oh thank you hi there uh instead of doing the report menu you can now click uh, to report anomalies anomaly has been previously cited in the monitored area i don't know if there's going to be additional lore pay extremely close attention to the surveillance camera footage File an anomaly report as ASAP when you notice something has changed. So these changes can be as simple as like an object moving around, like this chair moving from here to somewhere there, or it could be literally an entire man standing in your face or someone attacking you. It can be wild. Uh, I'm gonna quickly pause because I am on top of the timer here. I'm gonna move myself around. <clears throat> Let's see this. Um, wait, where's my camera? Camera, camera, there we go. I'm gonna move to the side like this. Is that far enough? That is perfectly far enough. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna have to see and take in all of the stuff that's in the maps because everything can change from little things to big things. So we got pills right there. We got a uh, vase right there. We got some paintings. We got a fire. Look at the graphics, by the way. We got lots of potato. Psycho will love this one. We got more vases. Uh, we got honey nut shears. 
and a plate. Now, there could already be stuff changing. Hopefully not. Oh, we got sounds out here. We got uh, boots. We got lots of chairs. This is a nice house, by the way. Like, dream vacation home. Lots of trees, obviously, out here. We got a birdhouse. Uh, we have a chainsaw. Okay. I don't know if there's punishment. Let's see. Is there a punishment for reporting something wrong? If I click on that chainsaw, what happens? Well, let's say, like, you're gonna die if you do that two more times. It just says no anomalies found. That's it. No punishment at all. So we can just test out things if we think that they're anomalies. We got a shovel. We got a bucket. Um, we have an axe. That's probably gonna be... I don't know if there's... I have no idea what we're gonna see here. I literally, I knew about this game releasing, but it dropped out of nowhere. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Chad, you got a butt in your face. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to be there. <laughs> Anomaly detected, please stand by. That's uh, immediate booty, right? <laughs> of course, it is observation duty after all. It wouldn't be an observation duty game if there wasn't booty involved. Um, we have, let's see, has anything changed here? We got a cutting board up there, which is kind of weird. Did that move or is that literally just there? Oh, that's just there. All right. The boots are still there. I'm going to need you guys, by the way, help me out in chat because I'm an idiot and I cannot spot everything by myself. Did that chainsaw get smaller or am I, I swear that was a way bigger chainsaw before. It's always the same. The fire. The fire is supposed to be on, I would assume. Uh, there could be stuff hiding in the corners, like in the corners of the screen, in the bushes, maybe. Uh, that vase. I love this reporting system, by the way. We've seen this in Para Eyes, and it was the only Observation Duty game that had a reporting system like this, so I'm really glad to see it added to this game. Was this light always here, or is it just getting night? Uh, and the lights are turning on. <clears throat> I'm literally reporting nothing. Ladder in the workhouse that new was it not was it not always there i love this by the way this is going to help us out a ton the fact that we can just click on stuff and report them this is such a cool place <laughs> like you got you got the cozy indoors all made out of wood but still looking pretty like uh weather resistant so you're not just gonna like the house not gonna blow away in a hurricane and then out here you got the beautiful nice uh di dining area you can sit uh, in the middle of nature and then you also got a little dock area for yourself. What the hell? Yeah, I am using is that that tree is freaking in the middle of the <laughs> The porch, excuse me. That was not there. Did the oh, there we go. All right tree is moved These are so far have been very obvious anomalies If you know observation duty and you've seen any of the previous five games You know that obvious anomalies are the rare breed of anomalies because most are those eyeballs in the pot? I think those are eyeballs in a pot I don't think they're supposed to be eyeballs in a pot. Yep, they're not supposed to be. Okay. Okay, it was it was indeed an anomaly. Uh, I love these so far. Actual, like, anomalies you can spot without memorizing every single little stone in the map. There's three stones here, by the way, in case we need to remember that. Um, the cereal is bigger. I think the cereal is just supposed to be big. Uh, you can see the, yeah, you can see the names and everything just fine. It's a sauna. It's an outdoor sauna with a dock. Dude, what is this freaking millionaire ass place, man? <laughs> this is like my dream uh, in the future to, to have something to go to that is like this. Imagine live streaming from here, live streaming from. Oh, it's the timer. I was I, I got jump scared by the hour timer. Now you have to survive until six. Uh, that's how these games work. And during that, we are tasked with the uh, or we are tasked with uh, removing any and all anomalies that you can uh, that that happen in the building, which, as I said, could be small or they could be big or they could literally be hanging naked people, as we saw earlier. Um, I have also, as I already said, I hope there's huge men. We have confirmed from the dev that huge man will be making a return in this game. So we're going to be hunting for him on all of the six maps throughout many videos that are going to come on this game. Let me know how, if you want to see everything. Uh, I could be making these videos four hours long, two hours long. I have no idea. I'm just enjoying myself. There's a pothole here, or I don't know how you call these, but that was definitely not there before. This is the huge man vacation home. There you go. We got the, what is it again? The board of anomalous. What does that mean? 
There's like an abbreviation there. I hope they're gonna give us like little bits of lore because the, the house at the beginning had like a, a little lore page. I hope they'll include more lore um, on all the maps because that's one of the things that was sorely lacking in the previous games. Um, that there was no lore explaining any of the things that were going on in the game. So I hope to see more of that. So far, we've been absolutely crazy. If you are uh, being bad at the game, you will eventually get an, uh, a warning that'll say there's too many anomalies active. Fix them now or you lose. And once the anomalies overwhelm you, you just lose the game and you have to retry or you can do another map. Um, but so far, we're doing good. Scythe on the sauna wall. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be there. Uh, there's a ghost. A naked ghost just standing there watching there. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ghost. What are you doing? Oh, I can't report you? Wait, what? Oh, report ghost. Oh, wait, really? I have to right click for this one in the warehouse? I guess I can't report this one because it's a ghost. I, I don't know if that's the reason. There you go. The Board of Anomalies Detection Agency. I don't know. Something like that. That was interesting. You can right click and report stuff as well. This is such a better system. You can either long press to report or you can right click to report specific things. Very neat. There was an extra plate in the kitchen. Let me check it out. What was there? There's a plate over here. This plate is definitely normal. Is there an extra? No, this is the pan lid for that. What, what extra plate are you talking about? This is definitely supposed to be there unless it was different from, different from the whole time so far. I've seen that here. Yes, see? And the box is normal as well. But now I can show you guys. I can report something. And then you can stop telling me about the anomaly. Because it's not an anomaly, obviously. I recently learned that there's people that don't like hiking. I had no idea that that was a real thing. I thought everyone loved hiking. I thought that was like a university love thing. Like ice cream or something. Oh, hi there. What the fuck? Who are you? Why are you out there? This is already like... If you have watched any previous Observation Duty game, there is usually not this many crazy intruders. Usually the way it works is that you spend like four out of the six hours reporting potatoes moving around. And then the two hours at the end, you get crazy people to come into your house and you're like overwhelmed by all the wild stuff and the naked people. And you got to report all of them before you die at the end. But it seems so far that there is a way higher density of crazy intruders which I'm already very excited for because the way these games work is that you're not going to see the same intruders for the different maps. All of the different maps are going to have their own intruders. But yeah. Can you click on the kitchen? Can you click on the sheet in the kitchen next to the potatoes? Uh, the sheet? The sheet? Like this? I don't know what a sheet... What do you mean with sheet? There's a branch? Oh, there, there's not a branch. That's a severed arm. <laughs> that is a severed arm. All right. Dude, this is actually cool as hell. There's a face somewhere that you mean me. There's a face on the vase in the kitchen. That is just a vase, my guy. That is just a pattern on there. Don't get it twisted. I've been to an, uh, I don't know if it was an Airbnb. I think, I guess it was like this in Switzerland somewhere. And it was like my favorite place I've been in a long time. But it was just like a, I remember there was like no... There was like no facilities at all because it was literally just completely off the grid and it was wonderful. Finnish murder mystery. Yeah, this is in Finland. I've never been to Finland. It's just too far away. Like you can just go to Sweden and Norway instead. The sauna handle. Is that not normal? It's just closer to me. I'm sorry, Finnish people. I don't, I don't, I have nothing against you. How far is too far away? I mean, it's not too far away, but it's just like... This is gonna make the Finnish people so angry. But it's like, if you go to Scandinavia, what's the difference? They're all the same, dude. <laughs> you might as well just go to the closest one. <laughs> oh, there's a leg in the shoe. <laughs> I'm sorry, Finnish people. I'm gonna get so many people in the comments that are gonna be like... I thought you were nice, you fucking Finnish slander. <laughs> This is, what the hell? I've literally only reported two things that were boring. Everything else has been severed body parts, hanging booties, and uh, ghosts, as well as people pre peeking into my window. Inland isn't part of...
Finland isn't part of Scandinavia? It is the fucking ball sack of the shaft that makes up Scandinavia. You can't tell me that it's not part of it. Have you ever looked at Scandinavia? Like it is, it's not complete without the sack, man. <laughs> like it might not be officially, but in my mind, it'll always be a part of it. Uh, what the fuck was that interaction, by the way? <laughs> also, I can't believe that there's so many people that live in those countries that have never realized that their entire country looks like a, you know what? I'm sorry, I'm the first one to tell you. This is just... Did this become more modern or am I crazy? I swear this was a different letterbox before. I am freaking cracked at this game. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let's go. He is absolutely off the charts. I haven't missed a single thing. Probably, hopefully, maybe. Maybe not. Was this, this gasoline was always there, right? Finish have a different perception. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just making jokes. It's all just a joke. Do not hate me, please. This is not... So, this is just supposed to be there, right? I'm just reporting it because I never reported it. Yeah, it feels like, it feels normal. Is the grill bigger? I don't... I feel like they... So far, they are really fair with the interactions. I What I would love to see... I don't... I, we literally just started playing this. I don't know if it's going to be included. But what I would love to see in a game like Observation Duty is that once you have completed all the maps, you unlock like a special insane mode for each of the maps where the anomaly rate is like doubled and you have to go through all the maps again. I think that would be really interesting. Because uh, these games are highly replayable. Because um, there are so many interactions that you'll... That boat has always been there, right? There's so many interactions and weird anomalies that you'll never see all of them in one round. Uh, that was always there. Okay. Sometimes I... Like, I've literally played Observation Duty 1, like... I don't know. This is now an... This used to be an axe, right? <laughs> Darcy, thank you for the tier 333. Uh, oh, no, I wasn't covering up. There you go. Um, I played Observation Duty 1, like, 10 plus times. Like, every map, 10 plus times. And every time you see something new. Missing wood at the warehouse. <clears throat> this is not the warehouse. Wait over here. This looks pretty empty. Was there something here before? You were right. That is the first time you helped me out. Look at you go. That was so much wood. How did I not see that? Is the calm before the storm? You know, I we're used to the way these games usually work is that once 3 a.m. hits, that's when the crazy stuff starts happening. Uh, because you know 3 a.m. is the witching hour. I'm assuming this game got uh, achievements as well again. There's 20 achievements! Uh, meet the Banshee. I got you flowers achievement. Meet the director. There's so many. Every single map has a... Oh no, this is spoilers. I can't see this. I'm not telling you the rest. Every single map has a unique anomaly that you have to find in order to unlock an achievement. Spoilers. Uh, there's blood coming out of the drain. <laughs> this is so cool, man. I still can't believe that I was literally setting up my notification to go live playing Phasmo. And I see like, oh hey, I got a DM on Twitter. Let me check it out. And boom. It's the dev of this game sending me a key. No strings attached. You can stream it whenever you want to. Have fun. Let's freaking go. Matt, face on the tree. Face on the tree. Face on the tree. Yep, that's a face on the tree. Also, be ready to hear the screenshot sound a lot during this playthrough because I'm going to be taking screenshots of every single anomaly for my crazy screenshot collection. This game is perfect for... Weirdos like me that like to collect spooky screenshots. Because <laughs> there is so much weird shit. What is this, by the way? This is like a... This does not feel like it's logistically viable. If you move this thing, it's going to hit the floor, no? Like, if you if you swing this thing, it's too close to the floor to be able to swing. It's just going to hit the floor, right? Am I crazy or did they dug a hole beneath it or something? <laughs> I don't think you would be able to swing that. It's a swing. It works. Maybe there's going to be someone on there later demonstrating it. Those swings are great. I've never seen one like that. There's footsteps. Uh, the footsteps are leading up to the thing. Was there actually someone walking here or what now? 
this gives so much more freedom to the type of anomalies that the dev can make because that was always the problem like the whole thing where you had like an other section in the anomaly report system was so weird because like it would just be like a get out of jail free card for the dev to add confusing interactions but this way it's way better uh i feel like this is always supposed to be like this or did someone sleep in this bed just now someone that was always like that i love how peaceful it is in the house and then nature sounds hit you hard uh axe you got so many weapons huh what are you guys planning in here <clears throat> the sauna buckets changed mailbox changed i literally already reported the mailbox change kaborki thank you for the 11. is this new I, I mean i did it because you guys here i'll report it for you here you go report the mailbox so you can shut up about it the car changed direction no it was always like this what are you talking about i i it's it's been it's very rare for me to play an observation duty game and i'm the one that is sane and chat's the one seeing things oh the fireplace is out you're totally right you you, you got me this time that's the second time <laughs> i mean this is the game where backseating is like required in order to beat it also what the hell is that background when you report the anomaly by the way they reduced that audio for sure some of the earlier i'm on observation duty games have the loudest reporting noise of all time and it's like super annoying uh yeah exit <laughs> In case you didn't know your own door is an exit. That was definitely not there before. The board of anomalous. I still don't know what it means. I know it's it explains it in the fourth game. I think that acronym is introduced. Like every game is a secret ending as well. We need like map pad on these games, man. I don't know if there is some lore to it. But, like, there are secret endings in every single one of the I'm an Observation Duty games. Um, and I don't understand shit. <laughs> is this... Is this not supposed to be there? Someone said I should report this. You are wrong. There's... The sink is empty? Where even is the kitchen? Wait, what? Kitchen? <laughs> Camera malfunction in the kitchen. They still keep those. <laughs> I was about to say, because that's the thing. I like that they did a hybrid of both because the problem with doing only click interactions is that certain type of interactions are not uh, possible. Yeah, the sink is empty. Wasn't there plates in here and stuff? But something like a camera missing is super sneaky. There was nothing in there. I, I was totally with you there. It's been a little quiet the last uh, hour, hasn't it? Even though we've passed. How is it 3 a.m. at this with this light, by the way? No... Don't ask any questions, I guess. Because <laughs> uh, that makes no sense. Must be summer. It's we're in Finland. It's, not, it's I don't think Finland is north enough for the sun to never go down. Maybe there's parts of Finland where the where the sun never goes under. I have no idea. Eternal sunlight. It is. It, really? That's how it works. <laughs> Damn, that must be so fucked. That was, like, that completely breaks reality. Wasn't there? I feel like there was something here, but I guess not. Like, we're so used to day and night. I guess people that live there are used to it as well. Can a camera be missing? Yes. We're already at four. We're doing a great job. When is there going to be someone standing in this forest? Maybe there already is. Maybe we're just not seeing you. Light on the porch. Did it turn off? It's fine. The light is blinking. This? What? It's great in the summer, but depressing in the winter. Oh, you went. Really? That was the sneakiest anomaly of all time. It was literally just lightly blinking. The fuck? All right, then. I guess. Sneaky. Was the box always on the tree? You mean the birdhouse? That's the box. What's in the birdhouse? What's in the box? Love the toilet. Poop into a giant hole. To a septic tank. Hey, Pickle Lord, what's up? R changed color? What? Of course it did. 
I love this. Sometimes you, I look at chat and there's just all of a sudden a flood of a certain report. This must be so much less. Is it? It must be so much less frustrating to watch. Because I, especially on YouTube, because I actually really enjoy watching other people play Observation Duty games. It's like uh, one of the fun, like one of the, is this a mess? One of the games I love to watch. Uh, but the one thing I'll never get over is just how frustrating it is when there's like an anomaly on the screen for like literal minutes at the time and then they die and they didn't get it and you're like, oh, something is, something is being cooked here. Let him cook. I mean, don't let him cook. <laughs> when the game grumps at the brightness through lust, I like that, yeah. So yeah, that, that's the that's the advantage of playing with Twitch chat. It's basically like playing as if the YouTube comments that are inevitably going to end up on the video can help you out in real time. I just described streaming. It's full moon right now. Yeah, I don't know what the light situation is all about, uh, but we are totally... We have also haven't seen any naked people. What's going on, man? I'm so going to get demonetized for saying the... I was going to say saying the N-word so many times. That is... I'm glad I didn't say that because that is not what I meant. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Don't clip it. Don't clip it. No. <laughs> I don't think people <laughs> assume the the right thing if I say that. <laughs> what the fuck? Clipped and shit. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. We're totally fine. This is too safe. When is there going to be two naked people on this going back and forth? Come on. Oh, the light's flickering. We know this is bad. We know this is bad. <laughs> Let's go. What is happening in this? This is definitely either AI or someone who needs help. I don't really know the difference anymore. Lor Lor Nora Lynx, thank you for that nine. The bridge at the sauna. The bridge at the sauna. The dock broke. Really? You guys are... Okay, I, I, I am falling off and you guys... This is the... Th Wait, no, you're just wrong. <laughs> Okay, never much. You're just wrong. I I mean, I already knew that. I was just messing with you. <laughs> There's still three stones, by the way. I was literally starting this off praising that we saw so many weird interactions. And then all of a sudden they were like, oh, the, the chairs. It's like uh, elementary school when you have to put your chairs on the table so that the cleaning crew could come in. The chainsaw's gone. What's no the chainsaw still there axe is different at the sauna. It's literally not though. It already turned into a saw and then came back Also, by the way for those watching on twitch right now tomorrow We'll be playing texas chainsaw massacre with the terrible trio And if you don't know that game, it's a game where it's it's 3v4 and three people can be the killer so we're gonna be CJ Psycho and me are gonna be killers <laughs> it's, And we have all never played before so it's gonna be an absolute disaster. It's gonna be glorious <laughs> The forest seems empty. This is a nice forest Maybe a little maybe I mean it's at the at the coast of some river, right? We're at five We're gonna make it first try beat every map challenge difficulty level Observation duty six. There's a person under the car <laughs> What if we just leave that there and then every time someone says it we just pretend they're crazy. Oh What was that? What was that sound? What is that sound? What the fuck? What it help um sound uh, I'm scared What is this is this the last hour music? Oh hi there's someone, take a screenshot. Get out of here. You're making noise? Okay. Okay, get out. <laughs> Are you okay? What the fuck? I'm panicking. Is this music mean I'm about to die or is this music just part of the last hour? The axe did not reverse. Adelia, thank you for the 26. Kitchen window. 
Kitchen window. What's with the kitchen window? There's nothing in the kitchen window. Huge man noise. Huge man coming in. I'm gonna report this. I don't... Probably nothing. Kitchen camera is still zoomed out. I don't think I can say any... I guess I could say camera malfunction. What is this? What is this noise? Can I do like a sound anomaly? I can't report a sound anomaly. I'm panicking. Uh, next to the ladder, there are suitcases. Right. Chairs are still fine. The lake. I think this is normal. This is not a suitcase. This is gasoline. The ladder is still there. There were suitcases down here. Flowers in the vase. Aren't there supposed to be flowers in a vase? Isn't that the point of the vase? The scythe is upside down. Thank you. See, that's what I need. I don't need this... Like random anomalies, I need the ones that actually matter. The water is wet. Oh no. Not again. 30 more minutes. The pills are still there. Um, quiet. Oh no. <laughs> I thought the music just went away. That's concerning. The shoes are missing. Oh wait, the boots are missing? No, they're there. What is happening? So many people are saying that anomalies are there when there's nothing, I think. <laughs> the ore on the left isn't right. Yeah, that's because it's on the left, you dummy. I'm just kidding. Do you want to report this one? Missing bars in front of the fireplace? You were wrong, by the way. Was this bars before? Um, no. Oh, the plates. There were definitely no plates. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys keep saying other shit and then I get distracted. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Chat is panicking too. We're all panicking. Oh god! Um, hello there. I think I'm gonna have to report you before you get to me. <laughs> uh please no. Get out! Thank you. <laughs> it's the axe murderer. Oh, there you go. Meet the lumberjack. You could use a shower achievement. Let's go. So that is the special anomaly. Oh, and that was the anomaly that they were talking about in the, like, report at the beginning of the game. So that's how those work. Okay. We're learning how the game works. The cereal has moved. No, it hasn't. The painting, the painting, the painting. Oh, yeah, the painting got some cursed drawings on there. I love the supportive parents. That put on the painting of their child. And they put it in their vacation home because they were like, we don't want to see this shit every day, only on vacation. When we can pretend to be happy. Cereal did move? Okay, maybe you're right. If so many people are saying it... Am I insane? What are you talking about? It's literally just there. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> the gaslighting is real. When are there going to be people sitting here? If... Oh, I thought I was supposed to move. I wonder if you, when you're on the screen, can you still see anomalies change in real time as well? Because that's one of those things I really like about para eyes. Oh, we're on it. We're, we're doing it. Hey, let's go. Oh, this is new. I want to report it. Can I do it in time? I can't do it in time. You made it! <laughs> Let's go complete the summer cottage. 30 anomalies. Nice. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna uh, quit. This doesn't quit to the, the entire game, right? This quits to the menu. Yes. Okay. So that was the summer cottage. Now we're gonna do which map? Let's do the... Let's do the hotel. I'm feeling hotel. Hotel. The Outlook Manor has been evacuated and the hotel guests have been transferred to temporary lodgings. After the staff made discoveries that point towards an impending anomalous event. One of the cleaning staff reported that during their one shift, some during their shift, some of the decorations had reorganized themselves while she had glanced away. A guest reported seeing a pale figure wearing a wedding dress gliding through one of the hallways. Incoherent sounds have been heard from the corridors during both morning and night, and footprints have been reported on the ceilings. Okay, <laughs> let's go. The Outlook Manor, dude, look at that car. Holy shit. This is a fancy ass place. Oh, yeah, I, is there gonna be anything new? This place looks nice. Attention, employee. 
Anomalies have been previously cited. We know that. We got the lion, the updated lion, though. That looks way more nice than the one from Observation Duty 4, I think. Yeah, yeah. Fight anomalies ASAP. Oh, baby. I love hallways like this. This brings me back to the times I went to the US and I stayed in only... What is this? That's supposed to be like that? I'm just going to report it just in case. When I stayed in only hotels and motels. I don't think there's anomalies this early in the game. Uh, just classic hotel room. Nice floor for a hotel room. Very, yeah, it's very empty. Uh, we got a bunch of paintings that you don't care about at all. We, we even got shelves with books. That's not something you often see in a hotel room. At least I don't. Uh, and a TV that likes, when you turn it on, the, one of those, one of those things you do like once every time you go to a hotel room, you turn on the TV just to see like, what the fuck does the... Does the TV look like in this other country I'm in? And then you never turn it on again. Uh, we're at, okay, that's it. Wait, how many cameras are there? One. I guess we could see it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six different cameras. Me when I'm in the Netherlands. Uh, I, I mean, I don't even know what the default TV is. But whenever there's so many ads on American television, I guess there's so many ads on every television. Um, also, let tell, <laughs> am I crazy? I have, uh, whenever I go to a hotel and we leave, oh, hi, there's a person there starting off with a freaking weirdo anomaly. Um, I always take the little soaps <laughs> with me. <laughs> Any hotel, uh, employees or like people that work at a hotel in the chat, is that considered bad because <laughs> i always take the little stoves man, and i love them i got lit i literally got a whole box of little soap like at my feet <laughs> it's the fucking like i remember the tsa or whatever it's called at the airport opened my bag and they were like what the fuck <laughs> what is this bag dude what are you doing because the rules of the airplane, it's hilarious because you're not allowed to take uh, any container that is like 100 milli milliliters or more, but that only counts for each container separately. So if you take literally 100 small containers of like a few milliliters at a time, it's totally allowed. So they were literally like looking in my bag, seeing like a hundred of these tiny little soap things. And they were like, all right, weirdo here, take your bag and move on. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, there's definitely intruders in the first three hours for sure. Are we missing anything, by the way? I'm too distracted. You can only have like 10. Not back then. I totally got into the airplane with like a hundred. The, the lion moved. With like a hundred little, little soaps. <laughs> Maybe I couldn't, but they were like, well, this is clearly... I, I don't feel like airport personnel does that, though. If it was against the rule, I would have totally gotten them confiscated. Um, flap at the bars open. That's been like this from the very beginning. The one liter is the max now, really? Is it? Yeah, wait, is the Outlook Manor some kind of paranormal hotel from a movie? Is that what people are saying? They must fit into a quart-sized bag? What the hell? Why is that, like, such a thing, by the way? Airport staff really be like, Oh, you want to take, like, 7 million small little bits of soap with you? Totally fine. One bottle of water? Fucking handcuff this man and send him to jail? That doesn't make any sense. Because of terrorism? Well, like, why does... Why do you think this rule... This rule doesn't stop terrorists, though. You could just put it in small little things. Do pool next. We'll go to pool. Don't worry. Door. Doors open. What What are you talking about? I'm super distracted, by the way. I need you guys to help me. Um, This is... Like, the, the random... By the way... We need to, this is, this should be against the law, and I hate that it isn't. It should be against the law to be able to say on your, like, hotel page to advertise, like, we got internet in this hotel, and then when you arrive, it's, oh, there's blood pooling underneath this door. And then when you arrive at the hotel, it's just, yeah, by the way, the internet, it's in the lobby. You have to sit in the lobby in the middle of, like, 
angry people checking in after long drives and you just sit there with your phone like a fucking zoomer idiot <laughs> that should not be allowed <laughs> that is stupid that's not a thing here so many i mean why is it like if you've ever traveled you know that this is like i don't know if it's improved over the years because i haven't traveled in like literally five years since covid plus some more um but what used to just be the law of the land in hotels is that the internet always sucks ass. Like, no matter how, like, much they advertise their internet, you know that when you arrive, you have to fucking in... You have to find that one spot in your room where you can hold the phone against the wall so that you can, like, get two bars of internet. And then when you lay on your bed, it's not there, so you have to fucking sit on the couch instead. It's so annoying. Like, why is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> like fuck me man <laughs> stop being so distracted hey i got all you guys to play the game for me i don't have to play <laughs> the bar the fridge is open that's literally not open it's just closed light off in the elevator by the way this car is pretty sick i don't even i why does it not have a back window though that's annoying as hell this is knocked over or was it always knocked over it it was underneath me so i can't really ask you guys i just got him <laughs> oh it was just literally just extra okay never mind that got him the lion statue is totally fine they're called elevators. wait a minute that must be an anomaly or are they literally just called elevators? <laughs> There's no way. What? They're called the elevators? <laughs> what do you mean? What is this? What is this hotel? What, are we playing Terraria over here? Excuse me. I love Terraria, by the way. Uh, Car moved out. Said the car moved. Can we just keep it there, though? Now we can actually properly see it. There's something so neat about seeing a cool sports car. Like, I love watching, uh, car, like, car exploration videos, but I, like, I, I have a Prius. <laughs> like, I don't want to buy a fancy car. I just want to see them and, like, look at them and be like, oh, that's pretty sick. And then just, like, not have to worry about having an expensive car. Always out on entrance. I think that's normal. By the Phasmo truck. <clears throat> Tiny door in the hall. That's normal. Tiny door in the hallway. I think this is perspective. You know when in art class for the first time they make you draw those freaking train tracks? I'm, I'm glad I get to show you how perspective works. Let's be honest. Thank you for the five. Light in the elevator. Also, they're watching a Twitch stream over here. Not mine, though, so I don't care. The bed sheets? Are they not supposed to be like... Oh, the bed has gotten all fucked up. It was normal before. I looked at it. But it's... Yeah, you were totally right. <clears throat> you never want to know. They must... I mean... There's health inspections in hotels for beds and stuff, right? So they have to clean it every time, otherwise they're just gonna get mega fined. You'd hope, yeah. I mean, they there must be so much waste in hotels. Like in terms of doing like unnecessary extra laundry and like every time some fucking idiot steals the soap, so they have to add more soaps. And even uh, I'm <laughs> that, that's me. Uh and even what what's the leave site? Leave us now! Wait a minute. <laughs> um and even if you don't steal them, you'll probably, like, is there anyone who works at, like, who has any knowledge of the cleaning services of hotels? If you were to leave those soaps, would they just leave them there for the next people? Or would they have to, like, take them out and put in new ones? Like, what do they, they have to throw them away. But what would they do with the... Do they, like, recycle it at least? Like, do they, like, put it in a pot and then they put it back into the little things? They have to throw them out. Because I've definitely been to hotels where I clearly got a soap that was used by, like, previous residents of the 
the hotel. That probably was a janky hotel, though. You? I, I mean, I thought that was, like, normal. I always steal them, so I... <laughs> I just assumed other people also steal them. <laughs> I guess it's not considered stealing, because it's literally just meant for you. Something has changed in the bar. I think we're fine. Play us a song, you're the piano man. They bleach it and melt it back into bars. I'm, I mean, oh, it is actually moving. If you're on the cam, that is a sneaky one though. If you're on the right cam at the right time, you can actually see them move. Nice. I loved how that moved back, by the way. The elevator light is off. The elevator light is off. If that's, is that not normal? I swear it's always been kind of dark here, but maybe. Yep, it's normal. Those are the things to throw you off. But the new, like, this is one of the great benefits of the new reporting system, is that if something looks suspicious, you can just report it without, uh... Oh my god, there's a body. <laughs> well, it's body parts, at least. You can just, uh, report it to see if it was actually a thing. The arrows? What arrows? The arrows. There is someone behind you in real life. What now? What are you talking about? He's. Wait, what? Lobby monitor. That's fine. This is the worst painting of all time, by the way. That's just that wave painting from Japan. <clears throat> IRL green screen man. I was having a call with my. <laughs> So in case you didn't hear yet, I'm buying a house, or I guess I already bought a house, but I haven't signed the paperwork yet. I just read it today. Um, and when I was having a call with my accountant about the, like, finance bullshit, uh, I accidentally had my green screen turned on. So I was just, like, in I was, it was just my face on the, like, Teams conference, or the Teams meeting. It was my face. And then it was just fucking a black hole behind me. And he was like, why is it so dark? And I was like, yeah, sorry. I accidentally turned on my green screen. Oh, man. It was stupid as hell. It looked so ridiculous. Because <laughs> it was just like... He was just sitting in a room with like a... That like classic like... Goo or a team's faded out background. And I was just sitting in fucking pitch darkness. Like I was in space or something. <laughs> is this normal, by the way? But yeah, yeah, it is normal. I live in the darkness. This keeps throwing me off. I keep thinking it's a door that's just really large. Oh, this is new, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, you have to, man, why the fuck? Why the fuck are contracts so long? I literally spent all day today reading like a bunch of legal documents and my brain was fried it was like fucking 60 pages of just bullshit of like the most niche like non-important information and like 90 percent of it was just like something not applicable not applicable not applicable there's a dead person i think oh What the fuck? <laughs> that was sick. What was that? <laughs> Damn, dude. Uh, I think we found the banshee or the ghost or whatever. <laughs> that was really cool. I like the creative things that are happening in this. Dude, Observation Duty is so fun to play. Like, it's so weirdly relaxing. Definitely a wraith. What is this? Is that toilet paper? Toilet rolls? Do they have to like throw... Do they have to throw out the toilet rolls used by other people and put on brand new ones? Every single time? Like, how far does the, does the like cleaning process go? Okay, that's not... Not... Yeah, this says elevators, but it's just supposed to say that. They remove oh yeah they fold the yeah they fold the little <laughs> they fold it into like the the letter thing so it feels fancy you the arrows next to the 
the sign arrows anger denial anger bargaining depression and acceptance all right <laughs> let me go to denial real quick <laughs> that's so good <laughs> That's like your workplace. Oh, that is not supposed to be like that. Otherwise, how are you going to get out of your room? The guy with an E. E39. Thank you for the three. Someone's, this thing is going to fall off or move in some way. <clears throat> you don't get out. I, does anyone ever actually use a mini bar in a hotel? That shit is so, such a scam. It's so expensive. Like, why is it so expensive? Like, it makes no sense at all. Like, why don't they just make it normal prices? I guess because a lot, I guess a, the only reason I can see for it to be like that egregiously expensive is that people use it so much that like, they found out that the, like, 99% of people don't use it anyway. Oh, the fire sign? Wait, what? Sign above the door. The fire- Oh, no escape! 90% <laughs> uh, of people don't use it anyway, and for the 10% of people that use the minibar, the prices aren't really the deciding factor anyway. Like, people don't care. Because I- I feel like there would have been- there would be a lot of people that would use it if you didn't pay, like, fucking- five to ten times market value for it no flowers at the bar excuse me because you're trapped oh same with like any room service at all i think i had room service like once in my entire life and i've been to like genuinely hundreds of hotels yeah you just just go out and eat bottles on the bar top fire Oh, the exit is closed. Dude, why does the exit keep changing? I paired use the bars next to pools. Pools are also kind of a scam in hotels. Most pools are just... I love it when you go to a motel in the middle of no... Or a hotel, motel, whatever, in the middle of nowhere in the US. And then they got this, like way too big pool with literally no one there and then you're like there for an hour with your family and then someone else comes in and you're like all right your turn to have the pool we'll leave it's like this like weird private pool situation where every where like it's expected that when the next people come to the pool you leave it and then they get the pool like isn't the whole point oh my god there's a ghost <laughs> ghost in the bar He's the piano man. Play us a song. You're the piano man. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it's so weird. I, so many weird things in hotels. <laughs> like, for some reason are like normal. Someone is make so how can, can I report this like this? I'm curious. Can I say steam smoke in hotel room? Is that gonna count? Because I know I can click on it. But can I also just report? I can't report it that way. I have to click on it. So steam and smoke is a separate report. Why? This is also steam. It's literally like steam though. I don't understand. That's weird. Suitcases outside changed. Uh, I don't think so. How are you even fucking supposed to get this up here, by the way? There's no, like, wheelchair accessible ramp at all. What a scam. It did? It did change? The purple one is extra? All right. Wait, really? This one specifically? I don't think it's extra. I think it's been here the whole time. You are just tripping. This looks like it's gonna go into some kind of... Minecraft storage place where someone has set up like a hundred million double chests. I don't know why that it looks like it's <laughs> I'm telling you this is what I this is my base and the, the, the square pillars as well 
This is a Minecraft build. I still remember as a child watching like these like free cam videos with like Nero piano music playing in the background of like giant mansions people build. I eat, ate that shit up. Ashley, thank you for the 17. The cam is missing? Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which one's missing? The bar? No, bar not. The hotel room? No. The hallway. Uh, wait, no. Camera mode function in the aisle? Aisle. Is that what it's called? I thought aisles are only used for like supermarket aisles. There's like, I've mostly visited hotels and oh hi there there's a person in there <laughs> is this gonna zoom in again oh come on i was hoping it was gonna zoom in on your face and you were gonna go Rah. get out of here um missing cameras yeah the scariest part because you can't see them i don't think anything people keep telling me this is different here but i don't think so this <clears throat> i don't think so uh but what i was saying is like the one thing that is I love it. I love it as a tourist, but I would I wouldn't even know how to live there if you were actually a, a US resident. What the fuck? What is that? Sir, this is a Wendy's. What the fuck? What was that? I was trying to listen to what they were saying, but I think it was some reversed audio. But, um, what's kind of, what's absolutely insane to me is like these, how common the, the, the following structure is some kind of giant commercial store plus like the biggest parking lot you've ever seen in your entire life. That is like 90% of us ground use. Like it's all just giant parking lot plus giant stores. Like you do not ever see that uh, maybe you see it in other places of europe but i've never seen that in the netherlands in my entire life like a place like that what was that sound what did anyone hear that <laughs> what was that <laughs> someone said like hello the fuck creepy like it's it's wild to me oh the camera is distorting I think, yeah, something is going wrong. Something is weird. Distortion on lobby. The anti-aliasing is messing up over here. There we go. Nice. Isn't there like legally... It's funny to me. So in the US, there's like legally minimum amount of parking, right? There's like a, a legal amount of parking you must accommodate. You can always do more but it has to be a certain minimum. In every other country in the world, there is a parking maximum where you cannot exceed an amount of parking spots. You can see the difference in priority there. <laughs> like in the Netherlands, it's the complete opposite. <laughs> that was definitely easy. This t I love I love the shitty TV, man. That's always in the... U.S. Also, by the way, big stoinks. My parents are uh, buying a new TV, so I get to have the old TV for my new house. Let's fucking go. <laughs> it's a fancy ass TV too. I don't know why they're even buy buying a new one. And the old TV is so large. It's like one of those flat screen fancy ass ones. I'm like, let's go, dude. <laughs> I I was like asking my entire family, like, does no one else want this? Like. Does my little brother want it? My other brother? No, I got a way better TV because my brother's like a, a film geek. So he's, he's got a, like a 10 times. There are footsteps on the ceilings. You weren't kidding. How are those on the ceiling? Yeah, that's nice. But that's like literally the only thing. Besides that, I got a desk. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna like spend my entire life in Ikea from December onwards. Cause I have to buy every single piece of furniture. The green carpet. What? 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 The 
Oh, it's just okay. So this is indeed the hour or the the sixth hour music. I see. <laughs> Bar carpet. This this looks slightly different. This was it the same color as that? Nope. You're just wrong. After that, the rest of my life. Oh, this moved. I'll be putting together furniture. Chunky boy will return. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to see a huge man. If we don't find it on our first playthrough of all the maps, I'll ask the dev where on which map huge man is. So we can play on that map a bunch to see it. Maybe he's on every map. Who knows? That would be sick. A rare interaction on every single one of the maps. I like that they're giving a little bit of lore to each of the locations now, rather than it just being completely random. Also color, by the way, the color. I didn't even comment on it because it, it, the colors have been done very well because they're not like too vibrant. They're all like they look like camera colors. Because in Observation Duty 4, we had colors, right? And wait, how? No. Observation Duty 5 was black and white and 4 was colors, I think. Shadow at the bar? What do you mean? Shadow at the bar. No? Two had colors, yes. But didn't another one pass that also have? Or were, did 4 and 5 both not have colors? Okay, they're both black and white. Oh, this computer changed. The only 2 and 3, yeah. I can't it's a good time to be an observation duty fan by the way because it is also uh there is a welcome to the game observation duty coming relatively soon I think because the the welcome to the game dev has been working on a like I don't know exactly what's going on there I think it's supposed to be like both at a computer and also free roam to a certain degree the bar table Bar table. Missing plants. Missing plants? Oh. No? Bar table. Hotel lamp changed. Well, you guys need to make up your mind. Oh, this is smooth. But yeah, the... And there's also Welcome to the Game 3 coming relatively soon, which I don't think... For whatever reason, uh, Adam doesn't want to call it Welcome to the Game 3. He wants to call it, like, Welcome to the Game... John's chapter or something. Oh, hi there. That why does it make oh it's eyeballs, of course. <laughs> Those are eyeballs. And picture different. Oh, that's definitely normal. Yeah, exciting stuff coming for welcome to the game fans as well. I'll definitely be playing those as soon as they release. Hi there, ghost. I can't report. That's interesting. So wait, the reporting software doesn't work on ghosts? Like, is this lore? Like, what does this, what does that mean? Like, why doesn't it work on ghosts? <laughs> there must be something to that. Lion at the entrance. Did it fall? It's supposed to be there. This is normal, unless it moved, but I don't think so. Yeah, the O is supposed to be like that. <clears throat> I think we're just gonna make it. We're actually like cruising, easy peasy. We're also like too good. I wonder if some of these anomalies were, like this anomaly was pretty sneaky, but most of them have been really neat, nice so far. Like none of the, like moving these two around and then going like, haha, you didn't see this move, idiot. It's way more like uh, single player friendly rather than like needing community effort to make it happen. How do you die in this by not reporting the anomalies? The bar bottles changed. You're right. It's Coca-Cola now. Let's go. You did it. Easy peasy. I got it right on the end. <laughs> Let's go. You made it. Complete the hotel. We didn't find. Did we find the special interaction in that one? Did I get an achievement? No, I only got the lumberjack. All right, 
So every time you get around 30 anomalies, it seems pretty spot on. Uh, people said they wanted to see the pool. We'll do the pool. Uh, pool. The city of Redacted has closed off one of their public pools due to anomalous activity. Several people have been found drowned in the pool during the late hours of the night. None of them had a history of illness, and all their families and friends testified that they were skillful swimmers. During the two weeks prior to the pool's closure, swimmers reported someone or something trying to pull them underwater while they were in the pool. Many visitors have reported missing belongings and a general sense of being watched. Strange light phenomena have been observed in the general area around the pool at night. Monka? Uh, oh baby. What is this? <laughs> this is some AI disaster over here? What the fuck? So I gotta love that random person. This is the dirtiest pool of all time. Yes, I get it. There's been a report. Okay, we have sob stage folded on air. Oh, wait, no, it's just... Is this just Finnish or is this, like, fucked? Is this what a real language looks like? I don't think so. I think this is just AI mumbo-jumbo. <laughs> they got the dirtiest showers of all time. That's just fucked. All right, we got Finnish people to confirm it. Is this what a Finnish swimming pool looks like? This looks like a freaking prison. What the hell? We got... Timer. This is a prison! <laughs> Excuse me? This is like the swimming pool of a prison. <laughs> what the fuck? They got like b barbed wire fences around it? What the fuck? It's a big swimming pool. Oh, underwater? Underwater camera? Are you kidding me? That's sick. <laughs> we got the sauna as well. Oh, I love this place. Water physics legit. So we have the very disgusting, like, bowling alley looking area where a hundred people can wash their feet all at once. And what's out here? Like bike racks or something? And then the, the dressing room with one single bench? Or not, two, two benches. And, I mean, obviously no belongings. I mean, there's still belongings left even though it's empty. Uh, are these normal? Does yours do, do pools? I've never been to... I don't think I've been to public pools ever. When I went on vacation, I've always just... Is this open? I've always just been to, like, hotel pools and stuff. Is it common for pools in other countries? There's a head on the bottom of the ocean. Or the bottom of the swimming pool. Is it common for hotel... Or, uh, swimming pools? Public swimming pools? To have things you get, like, uh, floaties and stuff? This is extremely common for pools in the Netherlands to just provide all kinds of cool toy, cool like floaty things and like giant, uh, like those, what do you call them? Like the wheel things and stuff like that. Not just for going down the, going down the slides. Pool noodles, those are sick. <laughs> yeah, the good stuff. Not the good stuff. You bring yourselves? Yeah. Why are they called inner tubes, by the way? What is it? I've always found that weird. I think the only time I've, like, seen that word is in Terraria. Oh, that donut just fell on the floor. Oh. <laughs> is it a freaking tiny inner tube? Yeah, people... I mean, I guess you can bring your own, right? If you want the cool shit. Which, by the way, if you're that one dickhead that brings that giant-ass fucking, like, animal boat to a swimming pool to give to your, like, three kids so they can be annoying as fuck to everyone else, you are a disaster. <laughs> you piece of garbage. I haven't been to a pool in so long. Yeah, they look like old tires. Oh, that you would fill the inner tube with air and not the tire itself. Oh, I see. Like a bike tire, I guess. That's why they're called inner tubes. Was that a hand? Was that a hand? Are you... Do you... Let me get a... Let me get a... Like a... A verbal pull. Are you a sauna goer or not? Yes or no? If there's a sauna somewhere, do you go or do you not go? I see many no's. And I agree. I like a sauna, 
when it's like something super private, but you couldn't find me dead in a public sauna. That sounds like, like <laughs> very, very awkward place to be. Cause I don't know if it's the same where you guys are, but I'm pretty sure that all saunas like require you to just be like fucking naked with a towel. That is so uncomfortable. I do not want to be naked with a bunch of strangers. <laughs> that is not my kink. Rather not, please. No, I'll just stay in the swimming pool. You can have a swimsuit. Oh, by the way, this is a thing I never understood and I need to know. Is this just a French thing or like just a camping thing? But why do so many... Every time you go to a French campground and they have a pool, you're not allowed to wear like boxer brief swimming shorts like you're only you're only allowed to wear those fucking like speedos that like crush your balls like is this is this like only a french thing or is that something that's all across the world i don't know why why is that like i i think it's supposedly for hygienics you have no explanation <laughs> miriam is getting flamed <laughs> like we're, by the way, we're gonna die. I'm not paying attention at all. Uh, what is this shit, by the way? There's some, uh, m like, uh, Mandela catalog shit. There's someone laying there? No. In Germany, too? Oh, the ball is moving, or is that just normal? That's the France anomaly. Yeah, the ball looks like it's- I guess it's just moving. Oh, there's another head. <laughs> Yeah, I don't get it. Like, it's just ex extremely uncomfortable. And I feel like there is, like, no hygienic benefit from doing that. But okay, I guess I I'm glad to see I am not crazy and finding that really weird. <laughs> Room, thank you for the three. And what Germany you are? I literally just read out a chat mas message about the German pools. I didn't say that. That was you. Go fight amongst yourself. People said that it was in Germany as well. Oh. Um. Did the door close? Wait. I swear I saw something move up there. When I was in the pool camera. What? Did this close? Oh, wait, is it? Oh, it's these doors. I see. Man, they actually, you can see that from the water. Damn. How are we still alive, by the way? This is, this is ridiculous. And this is also the country that banned burkinis. Oh, yeah, that's so strange to me. Like, I, uh, I don't understand why. Like, it's such a, like, that is... It's totally fine here to wear like headwear and stuff like that, like religious headwear. But for some reason, French people find that like it's it's not allowed or something. <laughs> like, I don't understand. <laughs> like what's the, what's the problem? <laughs> I don't get it. What is a TV license? What do you mean? I'm not. Where are you coming from? I am changed by the pool. I am lost. Head? Head! <laughs> head! <laughs> I love how everyone in chat goes, Head! <laughs> There's a head. That's all you needed to say. That's all you had to say. Um. And then you have that one fucking grandma that's sitting next to the coals and it's just like constantly dumping water on the coals so that everyone else fucking dies and they leave. Like, good God. I've been to sauna sometimes. Like, whenever... It just depends on the way that you're allowed to enter the sauna. If you're allowed to enter in your swimming shorts, I totally fuck with a sauna. I'll sit in there for a little bit and then, like, it gets far too hot and you leave. But... Like, what do you rather have? I think the answer is going to be, like, unanimously the same. But if you have to choose, if you wanted either a pool or a sauna in your house, if you, if you could choose, 
Which one do you pick? Okay, yeah, I was expecting everyone to say pool, and that is indeed the case. <laughs> There's a few saunas in there, though. <laughs> Sauna easily. I want both. <laughs> hey, that was not the option. A pool in a sauna? That seems like it's not going to work. This door being open is so rude, by the way. This is, like, the most unfriendly... Like, there's a bunch of apartment complexes. Just in the middle of nowhere to put a pool down. Making it look like a prison. The tower will fall over. I swim. Samaji swimji. Or voting we swiggy or... And then this fucking person here is just smiling maniacally at the camera. They know something, dude. Swee, swee safey, swee safe. <laughs> Rainbow Eagle, thank you for the 10 and Smudge, thank you for the two. There are coins on the water? Yeah, they're supposed to be there. How is that be how did that ever become a thing? Why is like throwing pools or coins in wishing wells like a universal thing? Like how did that ever come to exist? Who who made that up? Is it the fucking wishing well company incorporated that created that myth? Is it like Santa Claus where it was made up by Coca-Cola to fucking siphon coins from the general population? Is that what's going on here? Folklore stories. The city needs more money. That's what I'm saying. Poster? Oh my god! I am mom's ara ara erupts. Atamut? What the fuck? Kazi, they give it a hundred gift subs. Holy shit! I didn't even see that. What the hell? Damn! Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit! That's crazy. <laughs> okay, well that one we got. Thank you, Kazi. Nothing here. Why do you just got a swimming suit here? Like, who left that behind? <clears throat> Who's gonna be... I, whenever someone goes swimming there, I'll just leave you there. This plant's gonna die. We need to save him. Get it out of here ASAP. No slides here. Boring. Yeah, I agree. This is like... You cannot... If this is like a pool... If this is all you have in terms of pool, that's not a fucking pool. That's some... Like, that is boring as hell. Like, the... A pool has to have, like, two different pools, at least. There has to be, like, this for the fucking grandparents that want to, like, swim, uh... Or lanes for whatever reason. And then there has to be the fun pool. And then if you got a really cool pool, you have that, like section where it has like uh it's like a river section where it like uses uh like these these water streams to to create a current going through like a like a river the lazy river yeah that shit's awesome <laughs> I, that's like the and then if you got a really cool pool which we have one of those nearby you have one giant pool as well which is a wave pool that has like wave things on the sides or the bottom that create waves so like every uh there's a head what uh every like 10 minutes they turn on the mega waves and oh one of these is missing and you're just like having a an ocean adventure with everyone that shit is awesome you almost drowned in a wave pool i'm sorry okay i didn't mean to didn't mean to bring back that trauma <laughs> same lamau all right maybe not university loved it just depends on how how fast they turn it on window triggered Sir, someone said head. I guess they were just saying head. It was still fun even when I drowned. That doesn't seem right. I I never understand people that like like beaches. 
I probably like am the minority here, but I don't like beaches, man. It's like you're just sitting there doing fucking nothing. And then when you go in the water, you get jump scared by just how salty it is. And you're like, ah, rah, rah. and even if you try to close your mouth, it's like the salt is just a freaking like. It gets through your eyeballs, it gets in your nose, it just goes everywhere. Like, there's no escaping the fucking salt. You get salt between your balls, you get, like... There's too much damn salt, dude. It's annoying as shit. <laughs> it's... Like, I don't like beaches. I'm, I'm not afraid to say it. I'm a hater. And I don't understand there's people out there that just do beach vacations. Like... I don't even go to the beach, like, one day out of my entire vacation. Let alone spending my entire vacation on the beach. All beaches I go to are lakes. Oh, oh no! Uh oh, attention. I'm stuck. Wait, what is happening here? Oh, distortion? Uh, blah, 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 underwater. Oh boy, we're gonna die. Please locate them. Okay, we need to pay attention. I was not... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, what else are we missing? We're missing anomalies. We need to pay more attention. I'm stupid. Uh, this over here. I think that's fine. Stairs? Over... Oh, no anomalies found. Okay, this place looks kind of normal. Uh, sandals in the sauna? Are there sandals not supposed to be there? These have been here from the beginning. The door open at the pool is normal. Uh, yeah, that's normal. The stairs are normal as far as... I already reported this window at poolside. Already... I don't know if any of these stairs... Oh! What? The stairs got larger. Thank you, you're a hero. Okay, we reported two things. There's probably one more thing. It's a naked ghost in the swimming pool. <laughs> Whee! Screenshot. <laughs> Why the ghost be swimming? Oh, they're drowning! Oh, no! <laughs> that is... That is dark. And... I don't know. There's probably one more thing that we're missing. But if we're just really good from this point onwards, we don't need to find it. Or we could just click on literally everything. Wait, this is different. Is that normal? I don't remember seeing that. Maybe it's normal? Oh, I guess it was just... I don't even know what that is. What is that? Can you click the tower? The tower is normal, right? The tower extra? A drain? No. Oh, what? The tower is extra? We're stupid. <laughs> Excuse me. That's been there this whole time. <laughs> okay, well, that helps us out a lot. I think with that, we're probably fine. <laughs> the fuck? The tower was... I guess that was one of our first anomalies that we've just left there for this whole time. There's a dead person in the pool. I'm sorry. Sponge on the water. It's actually a dead person. Uh, lights? I don't remember those lights. But I guess they were always there. Why do I just now see them for the first time? What the fuck? Right in the showers. Oh, was this extra? I guess there's already drains here anyway. Just put an extra grate there. There's... So far... We have been blessed that there's not just been a naked person standing here taking a shower. That is definitely an anomaly. Def a naked person in the, in the sauna? That's an anomaly. Owls in the sauna. Are those not... I guess maybe they're not supposed to be there, huh? That does actually make sense. Okay, no, they are supposed to be there. Lucky or a disappointment depends on who you are. Did you guys have school swimming? I had a... I went to a really... I went to a cool school. We, we like, elementary school. We had, uh... Swimming every... Thursday or Friday? And like, you would just do like swimming shit. And then the best one was where 
I'm I'm pretty sure this was just when like the swimming instructor was like, ah oh, fuck, I didn't prepare anything today. Let's do freaking musical chairs. And then you would do musical chairs in the shallow part of the water. And for some reason that was the absolute best inter or uh, activity of all time. I don't know why I enjoyed that so much because I, I don't really care for competition, but that was just fun. Chair by the pool. Oh yeah, there's something missing here. I don't know if it was there or there, but there was like one of those lifeguard things, right? Yeah. Nice. Okay, we're actually killing it. There's so many more anomalies that show up after 3 a.m. We are not going to get another warning. That was our first warning in three games, by the way. Is the clock malfunctioning? Nope. Yeah, this report system is way better. It's like the pair of eyes reporting. Do we have all the cameras? I think we do. I think there's six cameras. Yeah, we're missing showers right here. Pool ball moved. Pool ball moved? It always moves. I think it... Fine. The rack outside. Was it... Is it not supposed to be empty? Hey, yeah, there's supposed to be play stuff in there. You're right. There's supposed to be those floaty thingies. Nice. Good shit. We're not gonna get an... Also, why is this water... I guess it's just wind. I guess the pool is large enough to have wind. I watched a video about... Um, wave energy. Apparently, that's like a, a, a brand new field of energy... Uh, writing? Ball is different. Ball is different. Of energy creation. And... It sounds really cool. I can't believe we haven't done more research into that before. Window open. What are you talking? Towers gone from the sauna. Thank you. That's actually something I can report. But yeah, there hasn't been a, a good... There hasn't been widespread... Uh, like, windmills are everywhere. But there hasn't been widespread wave energy farms or whatever the fuck. It's just something that like random PhD students do research in. But it's not really not really used or uh massively. Clock changed, did it? Shower you guys are just saying shit. This is gonna kill us, by the way. You're just freaking yelling stuff and then the the actual suggestions get hidden in the in the wave of bullshit. If that smile ever changed, I'll definitely know. What is even this? Are you looking at your phone in a pool? What kind of commercial poster is that? Underwater floaty is gone. It's literally there though. The pink benches at the poolside? Is there one missing? Is there supposed to be all of these? What? This is literally just for competition. This is the most boring pool of all time. Oh, oh my god, it's abyss. It's abyss, abyss, uh, dressing room. I'm assuming. If you leave that too long, you die. I'm assuming there's still anomalies that can kill you. Nice. Although we haven't been killed by any anomalies yet, luckily. Avoid. When is Starfield coming out? Because I... I didn't even know of Starfield's existence, to be honest. Is this a tiny shower? In two days? Two days? 6th of September. Okay. It leaked? Yeah, I saw people... I saw stuff got leaked. I saw the guy that leaked it literally posted it on his, like, fucking YouTube channel that with his full name. What a fucking dumbass. <laughs> What an absolute idiot. Oh, hi there. Is that, do I report this as steam? I assume so. Your boyfriend took time off of work to play it. So is it like the new Mass Effect or what now? Or is it like uh, just a space game? Starfield series? I don't, is it scary? Can I like, can I like play it for one stream and pretend it's a horror game? Or is it just, like, clearly not a horror game? 
Snowman Skyrim. <laughs> no man Skyrim. Let's go, dude. <laughs> I actually really enjoy No Man's Sky, by the way. It's one of those games that I keep thinking back to, like, oh, man, I, I want to play some No Man's Sky right now. And then I never do because I know, like, well, if I start, then I'm going to have to do, like, a 100-hour playthrough, which I don't want to do. I have those things, like, all the time. I'm like, oh, I really want to play some City Skylines right now. And then you're like, well, if I start, I have to do all the boring shit first. And then if I get to a big city, you're literally just, like, fucking making roundabouts for... Like 10 hours at a time and then oh no it's still slightly red let me optimize the traffic a little more there's coca-cola there's eyes in the sauna but city skylines 2 is coming or something i saw it on steam i don't know when though that's gonna be sick as hell october 24th oh baby i'm definitely playing that by myself and maybe, maybe I'll make a video about it one time or something. It's not really fit the channel, though. But I love those games. Same thing with, like, Crusader Kings 3. I, I, it's one of those games I keep thinking about. Same with, like, Age of Mythology, even. I'm like, oh, man, I want to play some Age of Mythology right now. But then I'm just like, nah. Never mind. I've been playing a lot of Brotato recently. That, that game is cool. City Skyline 2 is a day one release on Xbox Game Pass. What the hell? Gate color is different. I think you're right. You're missing the eyes. Eyes in the sauna. What eyes? Wait, no? We're so dead, by the way. Age of Mythology is so good, yeah. In the hole. What hole are you talking about? Oh, there's two of these now. Wait a minute. <laughs> one of these does not belong. I think it's this one that doesn't belong. In the wall. There's eyes in the wall. The walls have eyes. Right of the bucket. What? I, th I feel like I'm going insane. Right by my mouse. Here, there's eyes? You guys are crazy. You're, you're insane. Oh my God, look at that cursed picture. <laughs> what the fuck? It's, you guys are just fucking talking about this faucet right here. What do you mean? That's not eyes. How low do you got your stream quality set to? This picture is fucked. It looks like someone peeping. I don't think it does. Why do they make bowling shoes so slippery? Can anyone explain that to me? That feels like a safety hazard. Like, what is the point? Underwater looks a little sus. War is open. They're supposed to be open. I think we're gonna lose. I think I'm too distracted. The floor moved. The floor is slippery. Oh, you mean the floor and the the baseball or the bowling? I mean, <laughs> ball in pool is normal. We're definitely fucked. By the way, say goodbye to this cruel world. We made it almost. Clock, clock. Finally, actually, clock. See, at least I can still count on the hive mind reacting when there's something obvious. When it's something subtle, though, the hive mind doesn't catch it. Did you guys have, um... I think I went to a camping once that did, like, these really cool challenges where they would throw, like, coins in the water, and then the person who got the most coins won something or whatever. I love diving for things. I love diving to... Like those toys that like sink to the bottom of the ocean and you have to grab them. That shit's fun. My brother hated diving because his ears like explode. Because <laughs> he had like ear issues. Not me though. Pool floaty. Still there. 
We're just gonna we're gonna like lose right before the end But so four people coming back to the beach thing Thor at the water tower. That's normal for people that like beaches Do you actually like swimming in the ocean too then or are you just like sitting on the beach all day? Because my main problem with beaches is like swimming. I hate the swimming like sitting on the beach is boring That's why like I need something to do Surfing I mean that's different Extra coin I think we made it Are we gonna have an exactly 30 anomalies again? There weren't that many crazy anomalies on that one I but we also didn't see the like special anomaly for that one. We're gonna have to make a uh, a pass through all of these maps again. Uh, which one next? We'll do... I'm curious about the... Let's do the train. The first one. Train. Locals have reported large quantities of anomalous events happening at the location. The epicenter seems to be a parked locomotive at the center of the railway station. A body was found inside the train. We have not yet been able to identify the body due to the extreme damage caused to it by what appears to have been a gigantic blunt. I thought it's a gigantic blunt. <laughs> A gigantic blunt instrument wielded with immense strength. Strange mumbling resembling no known language has been heard from the train. Numerous passengers have reported luggage disappearances and leaving the train with items they did not enter the train with. Dun dun dun. Okay. This looks like... And these are fancy ass trains. I love... There's a head right there. I love trains like this. Yeah, you can shut up. We got sandwiches. Massive sandwiches. You even got TVs on- we only got TVs on the wall. And then these cabins, man? That's- even beds? Emergency exit just go straight through the window. With like a built-in faucet and stuff? This is a- we got a bar? Damn, dude, I- I've never been on a train like this in my life. You got a- like a air- this looks more like an airplane than a- <laughs> than a damn train to me. This is a sleeper train. Got a whole toilet. Just shower somewhere. Like an air train. We got Bun Bun. Summer strawberries. Yeah, this is a chill trip. Do train operators even do anything? Not to be rude, but like genuinely. Because I know for like pilots, they basically do nothing all trip. They just turn on the autopilot and that's it. So I'm assuming it's the same with like train conductors. Stop people from dying. But the pilots don't do anything. They just turn on the autopilot and then they just sit there. I mean, they, they do like they land the plane and they and they make the plane go up. But besides that, I don't think they do much. <laughs> hey, conductors do a lot. They ask for your tickets. By the way, the most annoying thing about going on a train is paying for your ticket for like fucking seven years in a row and never being checked a single time during all those years the amount of money i could have saved if i just never paid <laughs> damn dude that shit's so annoying like i like being checked in the train because i feel vindicated i'm like yeah i've been paying for the shit every single time finally someone's checking me cabinet open in Norway, they check after every stop. I mean, I think the reason they don't check is because in order to get in a train station in the Netherlands, you have to scan your chip to get in the building, which then checks you in automatically. And then when you need to get out of another train station, you have to check out to get out of it. But not all are like that. Uh, it's only the big train stations that are like that. So, I don't know. Also, am I already missing stuff, by the way? I'm so buying it when it gets out. Yeah, baby. It's so cool that the, like, all, there's so many observation duty games and they're all available for, like, a few bucks a piece. You could literally, you could do a whole marathon playing through all observation duty games. There's so much content for these. Also, it's insane to me that there's, like, U.S. cities that don't have train. Even the smallest town, even like a 3K inhabitant city here gets like 15 minute 
Like, every 50 minutes, a train stops there. Like, it doesn't matter the size of a city, a train will stop there every 15 minutes. Now I'm sad. Belgium, too. Gnarly Hen, thank you for the two. Train industry is shutting down. What the hell? Train controls? Did they change? What is this? Is this like the... You just go... And then you go forward? <laughs> that looks kind of epic. It looks fun. Also looks dangerous though. It looks too fun. It looks too fun to be the... The, the throttle. You're just gonna go... You're gonna... I'm gonna go full throttle because it feels cool. You live in Germany. Small town. Every 30 minutes train. Yeah, it's amazing. It's very rare for a train not, or for a, a town not to be connected to the network. I don't even know of any towns nearby that I can't get to by train. The face. Yeah, this is this is normal. I, it, I the face just feels weird, but it is normal. Stop lying. I said, what do you mean stop lying? I said, I don't know of a town that I can't get to by train. What do you mean? It's like by true by definition. You could give a counter example, but don't yell at me for literally saying something that's objectively true. <laughs> stop lying. Stop saying your own experiences. Because my experiences are different. And because my experiences are different from yours, yours are invalid. You must be so fun. <laughs> Duplicate coat hanger? I think that's normal. This place literally got fucking coat hangers on a train, man. The sandwich is normal and I am getting hungry because of it. Could, we be could this become an uh, anomaly, please? So I don't want to eat a fucking sandwich right now? Because damn. You live in rural English. Yeah, a lot of places are connected by buses as well, but buses is valid public transit too. I, I genuinely don't think... I mean, you can prove me wrong totally, but I genuinely don't think there is a place in the Netherlands where there is more than, like, 1,000 people that isn't connected in any way by pu public transit. I genuinely think it doesn't exist. I've at least never been... I've never not been able to just take a train to get to my location. Maybe, maybe there are... Oh, lights are weird here. Lights in the toilet. <clears throat> You're looking at a perfectly normal train. If you got train... Like, if this is a perfectly normal train for you, something is wrong. I mean, this is a normal air... This is fucking big as hell, by the way. Also, I need to ask, are double-decker trains normal in other places? I've just... I've always loved double-decker trains as a child. Those things are cool, man. You have, like, uh, two-level trains. Here, there's, like... I mean, they're not very common. But whenever I see them, I'm like, Oh, yes, we're going with a double-decker. I mean, now, as a, an adult, I'm like, Oh, shit, we're going with a double-decker? This shit is gonna go slow as hell. <laughs> But as a child, I was like, can we go up? Can we go at the top? <laughs> That's fun. Suitcase? Isn't the suitcase? There's a suitcase up here. Have I ever been in the Talis? Yes. You need that. Fun, man. We're so high up. <clears throat> These are fancy. This is like a room that... This room reminds me of the stuff that I had in college, where you had like these weird like office rooms that you could like i don't think you could rent them you could just reserve them as a student to work on your projects and it looked exactly like this i mean the ch chairs were like way less fancy the study rooms that have like a connection for your laptop so you could do like a presentation or something this cola is also there i have not drank any soda with like sugar in it in so many years. And I'm proud of it. A suitcase. People keep saying something about... Oh. 
What's with this light? Can I report this or do I have to report this separately? This is a yummy. Oh, I can't just click on that. Cup by the conductor. There's like no. I guess the, the train is standing still. Why are we standing still in the middle of a train station, by the way? This, is this cup extra? I swear this cup has always been there. There's no airport map, is there? So I, I can already talk about airports. I don't have to wait until the airport map. I love going by plane. I never understand the like. The travel is so much part of a vacation for me. A lot of people are like, oh, I wish I could skip the travel and just be at my destination. I'm like, no, dude. That's like, it's part of the journey. It's fun as hell. I love, like, and I love all the parts of it, even the parts that are fucked. Like, I love sitting on an airport for like five hours and then finally being able to get into your plane. And then the plane like gets delayed for 30 minutes and then you finally go and then you finally arrive and then you finally take your way too slow taxi to your hotel and then like two hours later than planned you crash at your uh in your hotel and the vacation begins like i it's all part of it i don't know why but i enjoy it <laughs> the glass is missing the dining car this is like super i've never seen this on a train ever i didn't even this is like amazing you get a freaking dining you got a literal dining chairs in a in a moving train under the taps wait over here there was stuff here no yes the cup this thing is this extra? Is that not just a candle? Oh. Alright. You guys are right. Japanese trains have a bar. Oh boy. That's gonna be steam and smoke, right? <laughs> it better be. When is there gonna be a naked guy? There has not been... That my naked guy quota has not been met this round. I am severely... Naked guy new... new deficient. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some anomalies, man. Not enough. You have those in Canadian trains. Teddy bear? Teddy bear is normal. This is not a normal teddy bear, though. What is this fucked up shit? With the tiny arms? <laughs> they got air conditioning, too? Damn. I'm so excited to move into my new place that has built-in air conditioning. And the, the place I'm going to make my office has this, like, really nice, uh, like, automatic curtains that you can close. They're disgusting as hell. I need to figure out how to ch clean them because they can't be cleaned from... The two middle ones can't be cleaned because you can't open those windows. So I, like, need to figure out how you do that. Uh, but anyway... So you can just close them and it's pitch black, which is exactly what I need. So there's large windows during the day, and then I can make it pitch black during stream. It's perfect. There's a hanged man. What do you mean? Is there a hanging man somewhere? Look at these things. We're like, this is... There's like a whole network of these. I always wonder how you are... Wait, what? Glass? Oh, yeah, you're right. Wasn't the teddy bear? The teddy bear's always been there. There's a whole network of the... Of those, like, blind things. It's so funny to me that sometimes you, like, see a place where they, like, put those things in, in like, a terrible way. Where they just, like, clearly didn't give a shit about the blind people. And there's just, like, a fucking, like... Like a... A lamp. <laughs> what do you call them? Like a traffic light? In the middle of the, <laughs> in the middle of the blind zone, and they just like walk around, and then they like smash their head into it. I'm assuming. Like, how do you avoid that? I guess you hit it with the stick, but that still seems fucked up. <laughs> Miss Diva, thank you for the ten. Is there an extra light here? Wait, didn't I? Huh? 
I swear the glass was not there before. AJ, thank you for the tier. Wait, what? This glass has always been here? Thank you for the tier 333 months. Wait, so I reported the glass. Oh, there we go. It's been long enough. We got a pooper, dude. <laughs> we got a pooper. Take a screenshot. Is he gonna look at us? Oh, God. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> He's not happy. We've got an angry pooper. I stopped watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Not because I didn't enjoy it, I just got busy again. That shit was funny. I love Brooklyn. Yeah, I need to pick it back up. Twi or uh, Netflix is so desperate. They're like, pick up where you started, or pick up where you left off. Come on, go continue watching this. New for you. <laughs> Please, there's a new show. You really want to watch this. <laughs> what the hell is this? There's, it's, what's in the box? <laughs> They're just like desperately trying. Please, please. And it's, I don't even get why they do it. Like why they're so desperate to get you to watch something. Cause like, Every time I see one of those messages, I'm like, oh, yes, yeah, I'm still playing. I'm still paying for Netflix. Like, it, it reminds me every time. Like, oh, yeah, I still got Netflix, but I don't want to watch it. And so, like, every time they send me a message, I get closer and closer to canceling my Netflix subscription. Like, if they just shut the fuck up, I'd forget about it. <laughs> like, it just seems counterproductive. We're at 3 a.m. The naked people are coming out. It doesn't seem right. Canceled it ages ago. Aren't they increasing the prices? I still think my YouTube premium is like by far my favorite. What the fuck? My favorite subscription servers I own, even though I own like all of them and I never. I mean, it's mostly because I own all of the subscription services and I never use a single one except YouTube premium. Uh, the price has gone up recently, though. It's still like. Very worth it so that I don't have to download some fucking app blocker app on my phone and I can just like not bother. Uh, Im imminent collision? Imminent collision? That seems problematic. $20? Yeah, it used to be, like, actually $5 or something. Like, as a student, I remember it, co like, costing absolutely nothing to have a YouTube Premium subscription. And you just never get any ads, plus you still support any creator you watch. It's cool. Oh. Ring, ding. You get YouTube music? What is YouTube music? I only know YouTube music from that one friend that keeps sending you music and then they use YouTube music as a link and then you click on it and you're like, fuck me, I just want to watch, give me the YouTube video instead. It's annoying. I like YouTube music more than Spotify. I even got Spotify. I haven't listened to a song in like a hundred years. I'm that old. I don't use it. Why do I pay for so many things that I don't use? <laughs> That's a crime. I just listen to music on YouTube. You know, it's so... Is that a premium feature? The like uh, downloading video feature? Because that is actually like... That changes my life. It is? Okay, then I can't go without YouTube Premium. That is so nice. Like, I have, like, this emergency playlist of music where I'm like, oh, shit, you, you are in a place where you don't have internet or something. You just... The yellow... Oh, this, this is missing. You're right. You're just, uh... You just listen to some music. I got way too many videos downloaded. <laughs> I got, like, a hundred hours. Wait, both of them were linked. I got, uh, like a hundred hours of, uh, of YouTube videos just waiting. And for some reason, YouTube is, like, whenever you download stuff on Netflix to, like, watch later, it takes up so much space on your phone. But for, oh my god. <laughs> 
Bam! Hello! <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> but on YouTube, there is no such thing. Like, YouTube has such a good compression algorithm where you can just watch something and it still looks great. You can download something and watch it and it still looks great and it doesn't cost any... any storage. Oh, we're flying. I'm gonna say that's a bit of a distortion right here. Dining car. I think this even kills you if you leave it. Oh, this is making me dizzy. <laughs> YouTube music is better or Spotify is better for discovery. I don't know, man. My, um, whenever we go on where we used to go on vacation, um, we used to make a CD. Remember CDs, guys? We're getting old. Um, a CD with like a set playlist for that vacation. So it would be like the vacation CD. And then like every time we would go on a trip, you would like, there would be different CDs. So then you would go like, you would go to the dad, like, all right, can we play the vacation from last year CD or the last year vacation CD? Uh, and then, oh, let's do the, let's do the vacation CD, the normal one. And then you just have like these, these memories attached to different places around the world, the different types of music. If there's anything I'm gonna like, once I become a dad, I will, there's so many traditions that my parents have done that I think are like so genius that are, have genuinely changed my life for the better. And one of them for sure is vacation CDs. Vacation CDs is like, uh, actually a, like a game changer. And I, I'm, I'm so sad that it, cause I never, like once we started making vacation Spotify playlists, I zoned out. Like it didn't have the same effect anymore. It was too, it was too like, it was too free form, too changing. Like, oh, let's add a, oh, this song is actually really good. Let's add it to the vacation CD. That's just not allowed. You're not allowed to change the vacation CD. It's fixed. That's the entire idea of the CD. You can't just add one. You can oh no, I don't like this song right now. Let's swap it to the back. You can't just change the order of the vacation CD if by the end of the song you're not already humming the first few beats of the next song. It's not right. <laughs> That's the law. You're supposed to know exactly which song comes after the previous song. <laughs> That's the law of vacation CDs. <laughs> God damn, dude. We only had like one or two vacations with with uh, vacation Spotify playlists, so it's, though, so it's not that. Wait, what? What sign? Once you enter, you'll never leave. What the hell? We got fucking lost. You do that with Spotify, though. Yeah, it's, I mean, true. It's just like. There was something so cool about just like putting in a CD. Like, uh. And then like changing it, putting in another one. Like, you probably can't even get a rental car anymore. Uh, that has like a CD player in. Maybe you can, but they're, they must be getting more and more, less and less common. Your car still has a CD player. Let's go. I hope CDs never go away. Yeah, I don't there's a lot of new cars that don't have CD players anymore. I guess I've been watching a lot of like uh, Doug like auto review videos and most of the auto reviews he does is like of hyper cars. So obviously a fucking like Super hyper car is not gonna have a, <laughs> a fucking CD player exit sign instant suffering <laughs> I love how much more text anomalies there are that are just like super, super, uh, sneaky. <laughs> Instant suffering. I mean, I guess if you jump out the window of a moving train, we got f footsteps. Because people were going to like vinyl randomly. There's going to be a time when people are going to go like, oh, I only listen on CDs. <laughs> like... That's the good old stuff. <laughs> Even though that was like all we knew when we were kids. 
there a missing TV? Is there a missing TV? You... I think there's only two. See, these are coming back. I mean, Blu-rays are... Kind of... Incredible... Hardware. They have so much more storage. That was sneaky. I would not have seen that. There were three TVs? In the middle? Over here? Really? How many fucking TVs do these people need? Over here? VHS tapes. I still got so many Disney movie VHS tapes. Fucking Toy Story 1 on VHS as well. That shit. That is... That is... Oh, hi. There's a naked person? Well, not... Maybe. That's stuff that I won't miss, though. I wasn't a big fan of, like, the... The rewinding, the tapes, blah, blah, blah. That was just annoying. Like, see, these were... See, these were the, the time when that got perfected, and then we just made stuff digital. <clears throat> Be kind, rewind. Got the old Barbie movie on VHS. I don't think I've ever watched a Barbie movie. I accept the, like, Barbie Barbie movie, but that one doesn't count. Like, Dr. Seuss. What the hell is Dr. Seuss, by the way? I know that's, like, blasphemous to say. But... Is it, like... I, is it, like, a fucked up kid's book? Like, with monsters and shit? He's just an author? Just a kid's author? We got Dutch kid's authors that mostly... ...get the spotlight here. Oh! We're already at five? We've just been cruising! <laughs> when... When when we go podcast mode, it's just the easiest game of all time. I definitely feel like they... If there isn't such a thing like when you finish all the maps, I think there should be a hard mode. Uh, which should be incredibly easy to do. Because there- I feel like there's just- It's a little too chill here and there. Like, there's too much time in between anomalies. I feel like there should be more aggressive anomalies showing up. But that could literally just be a button, like, insane mode. Maybe not give it as an option from the beginning. Okay, now stuff is happening. But add it as uh, as an option after you finish all the maps. I still remember listening. The first time I, I got to listen to music was when I got this like fucking old ass. I have it somewhere. But this like old Sony Ericsson like uh, flip phone. Or not flip phone, but like you, you shove it. You like move it like this and then there's a keyboard on this side <laughs> anyone know those <laughs> and i would just like spend like <laughs> i would be fidgeting with that shit like all day <laughs> and it's still held up like there's some old old hardware oh there's just a dead person here huh there's some old hardware that never breaks game boy advances they their hinges are just indestructible and then like now with they stuff breaks so easily the first time i got faced with that was when the ds came out that shit was flimsy as hell and like every iphone explodes when you drop it from like one feet high oh hi <laughs> what the hell is going on we're suddenly in like crazy mode <laughs> hey you can put your skeleton in the in the luggage rack <laughs> I remember having the cassette tape Walkman. That was one of the things where my parents... Because my, uh, my mom's a therapist, and I think this was one thing that definitely did not work for me. <laughs> that I won't be advising to my children. It was like listening to music to go to sleep, but all the music my mom gave me was like sad Dutch, like, singing music. <laughs> So I just got incredibly depressed with all this like sad Dutch music. And I, that's why I hate Dutch music now. 
Maybe that's why I hate the Dutch language in general. Maybe we can all trace it back to me as a child. Like, not being able to sleep and listening in the fucking... I don't even know. I would have to look it up. You would have to be, like, similar age. You'd have to be actually, like, way older than me to... Because it wasn't, like, normal children music. It was, like, the music my mom likes. <laughs> which is... My mom's a little older than I am. <laughs> You might not believe it. <clears throat> Just a little bit. The white cup? The white cups are normal. By the way, that's some... We didn't see that in the hotel. But this is like my favorite thing about going to a motel in, in the US. Is having like a coffee machine that's just like at the reception. And then you get... And you have those like takeaway coffee cups. And then you just like make a coffee. You put on the lid. And then you put it in your car and you just fucking leave and you drive. That was amazing. Oh, the, the moldy sandwich. The coffee is bad. I don't know if I'm unique in this. I could genuinely like I can. What the hell? It just went quiet. I could like I can taste the difference between coffee. Sure. But I genuinely couldn't care less. The coffee can be the worst, most low quality garbage. And it doesn't matter in the slightest for me. I've always like, I've never understood like why people are like, oh, this coffee is from like a instant coffee machine. I just don't understand. I can taste the same <laughs> to me. <laughs> there, let's go complete the train. I wonder what we need to go back through all of these and see if we can find look. Meet the crawler. Meet the banshee. We need to see. We need to see. We got 32 anomalies that time. Okay. Uh, we still got more maps to go. Uh, I think we have... Yeah, we have university and hospital. Let's do hospital. Hospital. The redacted hospital has been evacuated and shut down due to multiple anomalous events. For several weeks prior to the evacuation, the staff of a redacted hospital have reported surgical instruments and medicine going missing. What was first believed to be a case of kleptomania turned out to be the beginning of a class 7 anomalous event. Days before the evacuation and shutdown, patients with no prior mental illnesses were reported to show signs of extreme paranoia and schizophrenia. The body of the head doctor was found in one of the operating rooms five hours before the evacuation. According to the first responders, the body was torn to shreds. What the hell? Okay, we got Amrol Soda. The classic waiting room area. I get it. We got the isolation ward. Is th This is not a normal hospital. Every single hospital room of all time, by the way. Uh, which, honestly, having a room like this, you're happy. Because if you got a room that's all for yourself, you know you are in big trouble, health-wise. <laughs> uh... You want to have a shared room. <laughs> uh, Captain, thank you for the three. What the f- This looks like scary dentist office. I don't even get that, by the way. Why are people scared of dentists or like doctors in general? Is it like a trauma experience you had one time? Shouldn't it be a good thing? Like, isn't going to the dentist or going to the doctor a good thing? Because you get help? I don't get it. He stole my teeth? How did he steal your teeth? He went fucking goblin mode on you? Okay, wait. Uh, how many cameras? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cameras. My teeth. My precious. <laughs> it's just childhood trauma. trauma. My guy went <laughs> go to the goblin dentist. This is like, I feel like there shouldn't be a camera in a toilet, by the way. Hot take, I know. But I feel like that's not supposed to be there. We got the weirdo chairs and the couches. Lots of newspaper. We need to pay attention. Nash National Doctor's Day on February 27. If they get dentures, I've there luckily ne I haven't been to the dentist in so long, by the way. I should definitely go again, but I'm waiting until I move and then I'm going to like make regular appointments with a dentist close by my new house. 
Because if I go to the dentist now, I'm just gonna like, bye, I'm leaving. Because <laughs> my old dentist like stopped working. They just retired. And since then, I've just not bothered to get a new dentist. <laughs> I've just been like, ah, whatever, I'll do it sometimes. Five years later, still no dentist. <laughs> I don't know, it's not been five years. I think last time I went this... Last time I went was the year of COVID. Which I guess has been three years, but... And yeah, my teeth are fine. Mine is also like five years. It's one of those things where if you just got like... If you just brush your teeth... Like, the only thing they did every time I went anyway, which I've been maintaining it with, like, flossing. Which, that's always, that feels like such a scam every time people are like, um, if you could choose between flossing and brushing your teeth, you should always floss instead. Which I feel like is just, that can't be right. <laughs> I mean, maybe it is, but it just doesn't feel right. You've never heard that? Isn't that like a dentist approved message? I'm pretty sure it is. But flossing, like when you got braces and you have like, oh, hi, it's floating. When you got like that, the metal thing that's keeping your front teeth and your upper, upper and lower teeth together. Flossing is fucking disaster. Cause you can't really floss. You have to use toothpicks. Because you can't freaking cut through the metal with your floss cord. Because <laughs> that was the only thing that I ever did, and I've been maintaining it pretty well. Because I can feel right now that I don't have much... Like, what do you call it? Tooth stone? I don't know, that's what the Dutch word for it is. You mean braces? Didn't I say braces? I meant the, the thing you get after you finish your braces. I don't think it's called plaque. Well, maybe it is, but... Um... Retainer? Yeah, I guess. Whatever. That thing. The thing everyone has who has straight teeth. Because everyone with straight teeth got braces. Are we missing something? How has it been so quiet? I'm pretty sure the or orthodontist, I think is the word for it in English as well, that I got my braces at have gone... Like... Have, uh closed down since i went there so i don't even know if something go would go wrong with my braces right now i would have like no idea where i guess i could just go to any random orthodontist and just be like can you fix this shit i just hope it never breaks check the clock in the office we're dead oh this is new i'm guessing it's a shade yeah not enough activity which there has been, I mean, this is always, you can never tell uh, a, an Observation Duty game by the first playthrough. But it feels like there's been a slight less jump scary, there's been less jump scary anomalies. Maybe I'm just, we haven't seen them. But there's so many anomalies in the first games that are just like in your face. Like, does this, does this move? It's more subtle on this one. But... To be fair though, it's been more, it's become more subtle in terms of jump scares, but there's also way less of like, oh, this phone moved to over here. Cause like in observation duty, the previous observation duty, you spent like literally like at least 80% of your time moving like, or reporting stuff that moved slightly or got bigger or disappeared. There's been very little, like, object movement and disappearance anomalies in this one. It's mostly been just, like, text changing into, like, you will die here. Uh, or, like, there's probably going to be something here that's going to say, like, the kill zone or the scooping room or something. <laughs> so, yeah. I like that this one is actually in color, but it does still feel like you're... There's still, like, this slight effect... That makes it look like a camera. Just the second one didn't look like cameras. Which, by the way, no one tried to break into my new house. It already got, like, a fucking security system installed. If I accidentally go to get some water from the fridge during the night, I'm gonna get fucking arrested by the cops because the alarms are gonna go off. <laughs> I have to remember that. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> I'm lock picking one. <laughs> clock? I already did the clock. Oh no, now it changed. You're right. Or is it literally just... I think the clock is just moving. Is it? No, it's not the right time. Wait. Oh, it is just moving. Yeah, no. No, it is the right time. It is exactly the right time. It's just updating with the time. Missing chairs. You're right. Or missing chairs. Since when does this game have accurate clocks? We... That's the first time. Can't stream today. I'm in jail for getting water. Has anyone ever moved? I have such stupid questions. I'm like... I guess I'm gonna have to, like, get... Like, I'll have to renew the internet. Can't I just take over someone else's subscription to the internet? I don't want to have to deal with bullshit. Can't I just get your... <laughs> Can't I just take your internet subscription, man? <laughs> I gotta do that shit myself. Annoying. I've been calling so... You remember when my phone almost got... Got cancelled because I never used it? I have never used my phone more than in the last month. I've been calling on average like four times per day. The random people. Fucking annoying. I don't want to call people. I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> Up on bed table. Wasn't there a bed here or am I just like crazy? Cup on office table. Cup on office table? What are these freaking old timing? What are, how are these set up? I guess you're supposed to talk to them and then your computer is on the side. But damn, that seems annoying. Have we, why do you, is your computer so much bigger than this computer, by the way? I guess it's FOV, FOV stretching, but that feels not right. Got CRT monitors. I used to have a CR, like a huge... Like, I don't know what they call called, electron cannon, like TV like this, like a huge TV like that. And then I threw it away because it was actual trash. <laughs> CRT, okay, they're called CRTs. Uh, did your computer just become more fancy? It seems like this is out of place compared to everything else. What? Why do you got a freaking MacBook over here when everyone else is running C This is too realistic. The fucking secretary that's still running Windows XP on like a fucking tube TV and the freaking director has a uh, has a freaking MacBook. This game is too relatable. And that the reason they don't want to swap is because like all their systems are like working right now so the it department is desperately trying to keep everyone like having everyone use the old shit forever because they never want to like create a whole new logging system and shit <laughs> there's vending machines what do they got they got healthy refreshing Great taste. That's like all the things you need. Healthy, refreshing, and great taste. What else does one need? Are these people supposed to be in this picture? Did the PC light turn on? No? This is creepy, man. This camera here. How do you even read that? My eyeballs. That's why I, I need to, don't need to go to the eye doctor. I get... I'm still so confused what happened. I went, I had like blurry vision for a month and I was like, okay, maybe it's my time. Maybe I finally have to get glasses or something. And then I went to the, the eye doctor and he said like, you have like minus 0 0.5 this direction, minus or plus or something this direction. I don't remember. And then it just disappeared. <laughs> and I just haven't had any, I just... I was like gonna come back later to get glasses and then I just like the next week it disappeared and I had no problem anymore and I was just like well guess I'm never going to that appointment <laughs> and I've never had any more eye problems since I don't know what happened like how is that just how can you just randomly like get lower vision and then you 
Suddenly just your eyes repair itself. <laughs> what the fuck? Rest your eyes? I was resting my eyes so much when it was, like, happening. And I tried that for, like, two weeks and it didn't change anything. And then I was like, well, guess I'm going to the doctor now. And then it just disappeared. I just stopped paying attention to this. I was like, well, fuck it, I gotta work. Did the toilet change? You have minus five in both eyes? Holy shit. Um, but yeah, that was, that was lucky. Can fly. You only get your eyes checked if you get a driver's license. What is the minimum eyesight you can have to get a driver's license? Um, that... Am I crazy or is this place just gone? Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wait, what is back there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was literally just gone. Okay, guys. 20. What the hell? Is it still true, by the way? I used to have uh, some friends that I talked to regularly in the U.S. And we were, like, similar age than high school. Um, and they were getting their driver's license and I was getting my driver's license. And all they had to do for their driver's license was, like, take the test. They didn't even do any lessons. And then they'd drive, like, two circles around the local church and then they get their driver's license. Do you still- is that still the way it works? Or is that just small town shit? <laughs> no way. Each state is different. I mean, I guess it's the same here where each country is different. That must be so confusing. I guess it's like very similar. Like you, do people often leave their state or is it like just, you're just like stuck in your state? Like you're stuck in your country. Because it, it feels a lot, the more I hear about, like, daily life in the U.S., the more it's like, well, that must be Florida. Florida is crazy. That must be this. You can leave it. I guess it's literally similar to the EU, where you can just go between each country. That is a fan, that's not supposed to be there. Where you can just leave freely between each of the countries. <clears throat> States are pretty big. It's so funny to me that the states are just, that the lines between states are just like, just like drawn up with like, just lines. They're not like natural, like river crossings or mountains that are like the discerning or that are uh, making up the border. It's just, just draw a line from here to here. That's it. Some are, yeah. Because that's why I never, like, whenever you get one of those, like, do a test on the states. Like, which state is this? And you just get a shape of a state, and you have to guess which state it is. Like, that seems so fucking impossible to me. Because it's just all, like, rectangles. It's just like, can you... The, or, <laughs> can you identify this slightly more... <laughs> swirly rectangle? Oh, no, this one is more square. <laughs> It's just like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? This shit makes no sense. <laughs> you got... You got three square states. They all look square, man. To me. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just the way it went. Like, they just make it up as they go. Well, I, I watch, like, the, the main way I learn about... There's two ways I learn about laws in the U.S. One is from... This screen was always on, right? One is from uh, watching Legal Eagle. And the other is from watching, like, random dash cam videos where someone, like, explains the laws at hand. Is that, like, a... a by the way, about that. Is that, like, a thing? Like, I maybe it's also a thing in, in, the, in the EU. Can any EU people... Do we have, like... Auditors? Does it? Do you know, like a First Amendment auditor or something? Is like, that's like a thing people do in the U.S. where they like test, where they like, uh, where they like go film cops or something, and the cops get mad that they're being filmed, and then they're like, "This is my right. I'm allowed to film." And then the cops get mad, and then they, well, yeah, it is your right. Blah 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 blah, and they get. An auditor. Yeah, audit the audit. That's the channel I watch. 
Okay, that's only US stuff. See, people seem to think I was crazy. <laughs> but there is, uh, like the whole, the whole thing with like where, because the audit, the audit channel is, I don't know if that's like the standard, but it also seems really weird. The toilet cam is gone. You're totally right. It also seems really weird because he the way that channel works is that it like gives out a grade to people how they acted and sometimes they'll give like a B to someone for like, well, you should have asserted your right to remain silent more like you should have just stayed silent instead. And I'm like, is that like, I mean, I guess you have the right to remain silent, but don't you just like give the cop your identification? Like, I don't get it. Like, I. I get that you, like, by right, don't have to give them your ID or something. But, like, you really gotta give them a lower grade because they gave that ID to a cop? <laughs> like, that seems... Is this... This is not there, right? <laughs> I just... Uh, like, I get... I get that if you have that right, you have that right. But it just feels like... It just feels like at that point you're, like, playing the system. The fact that you have certain rights and you're like, you're like enacting them as if it's like a video game where you have to maximize your score. <laughs> it just seems weird. Like, I get it's for like lots of reasons. It's good to know your rights, obviously. Um, but like the only videos I ever see is like of someone like actively very actively using their right to remain silent and like a random traffic stop is just like all right sir could i get your license and registration and they just i'm not answering any questions and then he gets like an a plus because they don't answer any questions and i'm like this did not have to be so complicated if you just talk to the fucking cop for like two seconds you would have been out of there instead you're like fucking using your right to remain silent and getting an a plus on this youtube channel but you're like spending fucking two hours sitting in a traffic stop waiting for a supervisor. Like, I know how I would spend my time. I would just leave. <laughs> like, God damn. You have to show. Yeah, okay. The life that. I mean, just like answer. Oh, hi, Shadow Monster. Turkey Boom, thank you for the 13. I've never been stopped by the police, by the way. Like, not in a car, not on a bike. I don't think I've ever spoke to a cop in my entire life. Oh, there's wine. So, I like, it's one of those things where if you get stopped constantly because either you just... Wait, what? That's definitely an anomaly. What are you talking about? Was that always there? Or, like, just fucked up racism or something? Like, there, I can totally understand. You just want to... Like, it protects, like, those rights are good for, like, protecting people that get racial profiled or something. Like, at some point, you're getting annoyed as hell. Like, you just, you just want to use your right to remain silent, or you just want to, you just want to show that you know your rights to just, like, kind of piss off the officer to, like, get some of, because that is what it feels like when I see some of the videos. It feels like part of the reason someone is being, like, non-compliant in a lawful way is just to get the power dynamic back like because so often the way police act creates just like fucked up like they just get off on the power dynamic so asserting your rights in a lawful way is like a way as a citizen to get that back which the fact that that is even required because the police sucks ass that is that is the real problem <laughs> That, that is, that's what we should fix. And the fact that you can have body cams on every single one of your cops, yet police brutality is still so common is actually unbelievable. Like, I, this just, I don't know. I, I rarely watch the news here, so I don't know. When I used to watch the news, I never heard, like, if there was some kind of police brutality situation, it would be on the news for weeks until that shit got resolved. Like, I think I remember sometime, like, a kid got shot here, and I remember hearing about that for, like, for literally an entire week until the the cop got, like, just, or got, like, arrested and shit. Uh, Abyss, in the toilet, please no, I'm trying to take a shit, man. 
But I don't know because I don't watch the news anymore. That shit's just depressing. The clock going backwards? Is it? Oh yeah, what? Why is it going backwards? Uh, the clock is broken. It what? What? <laughs> something went wrong with the clock. <laughs> what the fuck? It's going backwards. Ignorance is bliss. What's, yeah, I just don't understand the no repercussions part. Like, isn't it in every single one's best interest except... I guess it's in not in the interest of the people that actually have the power, right? And that's why it never gets fixed. But... It, like, you could say it's not in the police's interest, but yes, it is. <laughs> like, the fact that that people don't trust the police is in great parts because of people not, like, the police not being held accountable. Maybe this is actually a report. Maybe. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude. Damn, that's a sneaky one. It's not aligning anymore. We got... That was different. Nice. Of course it was. I thought it was just a bug. <laughs> the game isn't even out yet. I thought the clock just got desynced with the actual clock. I thought it was just a bug, man. I'm so used to games being bugged on release that I... I mean, I guess these games are very simple, so it's rare for them to be bugged. Yeah, I guess. I fixed the bug. <laughs> Is this gonna change? It's gonna stay unhealthy. Dangerous. Kale in the bathroom. Kale in this room. I think the scale is normal. Yeah, it's super... Some of these maps are so quiet. Like, this map has, like, no sound at all. That is always the thing that I felt... Uh, is this sh moving? There's distortion going on here. This is weird. Distortion... Because this is tra changing. The sparkly thing, but that's because of distortion. There you go. So shiny. It's almost five. It's actually... Like, I feel like it's... Because they made the anomalies way more... Like, most of the anomalies are far more interesting on average than the anomalies that you got in the previous Observation Duty games. It's also become easier. Like, something like this versus something like moving or making this disappear is a hundred times easier. Um, I feel like they need to, like, maybe we're not the best audience to test this for. Like, maybe <laughs> because, like, if I don't see something, you guys will see it. But I feel like it's slightly easier than observation, the previous observation duties. Maybe we've just gotten better at the whole concept, but I definitely think it's easy or easier. Hey, Kanars, thank you for the Canadian dollars, I think. <laughs> also, should I move to the Netherlands? That is not something I can decide for you. I would personally never move countries. Oh, hi there. I can't really envision what that would be like. TND is Canadian? I thought it was C dollars, man. Why? That was the... That was the, they see me rolling, they hate, they see me rolling achievement. That was the Bruxa? What is the Bruxa? Oh, C-A-D, I see. But what does C dollar sign mean then? Is that not Canadian dollars? What is C dollar sign? Isn't that Canadian dollars? What else is that? Croatian dollars? Like what? What? Oh God! Hi! <laughs> They're coming out everywhere now. The fuck? Sense? I don't. It's look at the top of the Twitch chat. It's literally there, or is it only there for me? There's a message that has C dollar sign. What does it mean? <laughs> I see it. That's not regular dollars, no. I said. It's C-A dollar? What is C-dollar then? <laughs> oh, it says C-A dollar. Oh, it says C-dollar for me. Okay. I <laughs> the person that did that donation is like, I didn't mean to fucking 
cause a whole fight. I'm just <laughs> being nice. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> You're part of this now. <laughs> it says something different for everyone. That's interesting. Twitch anomaly detected. You got to report that. Oh, hi. That's cool. I love that the extras actually are animations for all these things. This is... It says just CAD for you. Interesting. Uh, we're actually kidding it, by the way. Yeah, I, mi I do kind of miss the, like, in your face... Blah, 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 anomalies because <laughs> even though they are kind of cheesy they are fun because <laughs> those are not we got to find huge i don't know where huge man would be it seemed like the summer cottage there was some description of a huge man there's definitely huge man though because we got a screenshot from the dev no mercy dollar no <laughs> I am Canadian, please. It's Canadian dollars. We have a confirmation. <laughs> the mystery has been solved. <laughs> please help me. What the? Pipe? Pipe's just been there. Why is there no person showering? Oh, there's a mouth. That's interesting. No more C dollars. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not real. This is N this is N O K. Why are there so many currency what how am I supposed to know these? What is not okay currency? This is not okay currency. It's not okay. It's Norway currency. Oh it's Norway crone thingy. Man, I remember when we were living in the medieval ages where we had our own currency. Must be fun in the middle ages. You guys still wearing like chainmail? <laughs> that whenever cuz like I I mean obviously for you guys it's <laughs> it's just the way your currency works. But I like whenever I think back to the currency we used to have before euros, I'm like, man, that shit is old. Like whenever my parents used to talk about like, well, that used to be this many. And then the old Dutch currency, I'm like, old ass. Okay, old ass. <laughs> you don't understand the old one. Anyway, but that was only 26 anomalies. The boomer, okay, boomer currency. One more, right? University, let's go. University, the redacted university has called an early end to the school year due to reports of anomalous events. The students reported multiple cases of missing laptops, notebooks, and miscellaneous belongings. During one of the classes, a silhouette of a gigantic man was seen at the back of the class by the lecturer. Huge man, maybe? One of the students reported hearing strange noises coming from the main building's roof during one late night study session. The body of a student was found on university grounds, causing the redacted university to finally act on reports. Initial examination seems to suggest that the body was first surgically opened and then violently drilled with what appears to be an industrial hand drill. Excuse me. What the hell? Oh, baby. Wait, you got freaking like direction poll like this yes yes okay so we got uh only four prizes have been won ever across this entire university um we got the powerpoint presentation for the teacher that the, look at that that's half covered up by the that's half projecting on the blackboard this is why are there so many fucking different shits on the top of the screen <laughs> america we got u.s dollar we got pound, the British are coming. We have dollars, the only currency that matters, or the euros, the only currency that matters. By the way, whenever I touch and talk in Dutch, I say euros. And whenever I talk in English, even when I'm talking about euros, I always say dollars. Any other European people do the same thing? <laughs> I don't know if that's normal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, we need to actually pay attention, by the way. We're bad. Uh, we got all the lawyer lamps. Look at the lawyer lamps. 
Then we have outside actually noises. We got the thinking guy. There's like nothing out here. The clock is actually working again. So if this clock ever stops working, we got a skeleton, which is probably normal, but I'm going to report it anyway. <clears throat> you say euros for everything. Uh, and then all the... Why do you keep your... Why did you... Oh, I guess I got evacuated, but why do you leave your laptop behind? I would take my laptop. Even if there was like a fire or explosion. That's just not leaving. That's just, I'm not leaving without that. And then we have... This is just... This is like... Simultaneously science and also like law school. This is a crazy... I've never been in a in a lecture hall like this. Our lecture halls were just boring, like normal rows of seats pointing towards a wall instead of this freaking like TV set that they got going on over here. What is this? Just books? <clears throat> they were in the middle of studying. This is an expensive uni. That is another thing that I always, that I find so weird. That there is such a, I guess it's the, the way across the world, but that there's like, especially in the US, like if you don't go to a specific university, your degree like matters less or something. Like that's so weird. Like, isn't it standardized? Like, shouldn't it be standardized across all schools? Like here, if you get a, like a computer science degree, in one school, it's worth the exact same as all other universities. It doesn't matter to which university you go to. Like, the only time it matters is if you go to, like, Cambridge or, like, Yale or MIT or whatever. Because then you, like, went to some other country to go to a prestigious university. But if you just stay in the Netherlands, it doesn't matter. Every single university gives out the exact same value uh, degrees. It's all about money. Are we missing something, by the way? It's already 40 minutes and I haven't seen shit. Bench. <clears throat> like, the whole thing of, like, public schools being worse than private schools is already weird anyway. Like, the fa Oh, I actually reported that. <laughs> I was like, that looked slightly weird. <laughs> Got him. I don't even have to think about playing this game. I do just freaking on autopilot, man. Let's go. <laughs> the clock stopped. I mean, you can just check. Uh, this is going to say some fucked up shit here. Oh, the lights. Okay, now I feel better. The auditorium. Oh, we got, we got euros again. More euros. <laughs> Classroom's got a new bag. New bag? This one? I don't think so. Like, these are the... These are, like, the work... Like, the... Where you do homework assignments or something, and you, like, ask tutors. Like, this is where I would teach. I would teach in, in places like this. Like, there would be students sitting here just working on their projects on their laptops, and then they would ask me questions about their projects. Um, and this is where the teachers would teach. But, like, not this order. Like... Similarly sized, there would be like 500, more than like 500 seats, but it would just be ordered in straight lines. We got moose dollars again. Have a bit of moose dollars. <laughs> New Zealand currency. It's so funny to me that there's like, I guess that's just the way dollars work. That there's like so many different countries that all have just dollars. Uh, Ultimate cat lady, thank you for the five gift subs. Okay, I am... People on YouTube are going to be angry. They're going to be like, Why did he miss the anomaly? Chat's not paying attention anymore. Oh, there's a dude. There's a dude standing. That's different. I can now think of that 1100 biddies. It's, there's a dude invaded. Imagine that would be fucking terrifying. You open up your like Windows old computer and instead of you being greeted by the default Windows background, the, like, rolling field. There's just a guy standing on it. <laughs> I'd fucking throw my PC out the window. That That's a good prank. You know how in, in fucking elementary school, people would change the desktop, desktop background to some fucked up shit? And then, like, haha, look how funny. That's the jump scare we need. 
What the hell are you guys doing, by the way? Nemesis, thank you for the five gifts. <laughs> we got... We got... HK dollars. HK dollars? What is that? Hong, Hong Kong dollars or something? <laughs> It's Hong Kong dollars. Okay, I was right. It's Hell's Kitchen money. The wall? Oh, the wall. This is weird. Alter Mash, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you. This is a win though, right? Yes. <laughs> I like this outside area. I need to get one of those, like lawnmower robot thingies because i got i got grass in my new house and i am not about to fucking <laughs> cut that grass every week i'm lazy as fuck you you know those like lawnmower what are, what are they called roombas the lawnmower roombas <laughs> the hell <laughs> we got australian dollars New Zealand dollars. Everyone's got dollars. Those are sick. They are very convenient. And apparently, they, the, the, the thing I was, th like, I was worried about is, man, if you have one of those, you need to constantly empty it. But apparently, you don't have to empty them because they cut your grass every day. So they cut off the part that grew the last day immediately. And they just, like, leave it in the other grass. And it just becomes like compost or whatever. Like you don't have to cut it. Or you don't have to empty it. It doesn't even have like a, a place where it puts the grass. It just leaves it. That's actually awesome. No, the, Oh, come on. <laughs> don't scare. Stuff is actually moving. What the fuck? <laughs> move again. He's going. He's going places. Is this going to move with the object? That is freaking... It is freaking object tracking? <laughs> That's fancy software we got for our anomaly business. That's sick. <laughs> we learned... We got... We got our dollars. Brazilian do Wait, why are the... Brazilian dollars our dollars? What? Shouldn't they be B dollars? This doesn't make any sense. Rios. Got Singapore dollars. You guys. What the hell? There's a naked person flapped on the side of the building. <laughs> I they're so much more subtle, man, with the anomalies now. Ah! <laughs> Bye. Holy shit. <laughs> Esselinia, thank you for the gifts. <laughs> What the fuck? Ice ass, dude. That guy, he did a flip. I... Like, I never understand people that don't go to their lectures. I miss university, man. University is fun as hell. Like, and I did... I wasn't even doing the fun stuff. Like, the fun stuff. Where you go to parties and shit? Like, I don't like that. I just like going to class, man. That shit's fun. Like, call me a nerd all you want. Having some structure to your life was kind of nice. Like, just waking up, like, knowing... Because it makes you feel like when you aren't... Oh, my God. What is this? Gummas de Creas. It's some... If I say that out loud, my furniture is going to start floating. Uh, thank you for the five gifts of Anonymous. Um, but like, there is such a nice, it's so nice to have structure to your day. No, like, okay, during these two hours, I'm going to have a lecture. After that, if I don't have shit to do, which you always have shit to do, but let's say you didn't, you're just free. Like, it makes you feel like you can relax without, like right now, I can never relax because I always, like, no matter how much I do, there's always more work. <laughs> so like you can never, like I have had to adjust my entire like mental structure to allow myself to relax when there's still stuff to do. I was like one of those people that could only relax when everything on your schedule is done. So I would just work, like if I got a new assignment, 
I would work until the assignment was done, and then I would start relaxing again. Like, that was just how my brain worked. You just finish it, and then you can, like, you have the best relaxing sessions of all time. Because you, you can relax knowing that you have truly done everything. It is so nice. And now I have to, like, I've had to learn to relax when I still have shit to do. <laughs> Cat in the lecture room? There's a cat? There's a cat! No, that's not a cat, that's a fucking alien monster! What is that? <laughs> ah! Oh, what? No, anomaly phones? It's a backpack! It's just a bag! Wait, we're gonna lose! What's going on? Oh no. I thought it was an alien, dude. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 what's going on? We're gonna lose? Oh, wait, was there something on here? Oh, no. There's three anomalies active right now. What are the anomalies? Table in the library. There's a missing table here. That was an easy one. Okay, and then... Was there a sign on this university that says, like... This university, blah, blah, blah? Also, sports teams. Like, the U.S. schools having sports teams is interesting to me we never really did much of that at least the university i went to is this different is there a missing chair here no um where the fuck are the anomalies i think we're gonna die i think it's gonna be the first time we lose this is still just fine this is still fine the door is open this door's supposed to be open guys i'll report it uh just so you know, but it's supposed to be open. See? Um, time to lose. Time to lose for the first time. The university map is too hard. We were just, I was just saying that they should make the game harder and then we lose. Got all cams. Oh, there's some light shit. I don't know if I can report that like this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can't report it like that. So we do have all the cams, all six. There's probably just something that has been here since the very beginning. Because we took quite a while before we visited all the cams. Maybe this. The guy, I don't know. The clock is fine. No, that's fine. It looked like some color got removed from these trophies here. But maybe they're just boring. Nope. Really? Vending machines? Uh, the vending machine is different? Paint, man, table? No, the x-ray is normal. This is also normal, right? Just reporting it because it was there from the very beginning, but it might not be normal. The x-ray is definitely normal. Is there- there was always two desks, right? This is literally the exact same type of offices that I would teach in. Um, I think it's all ogre. Painting. Painting. Periodic table poster. Wasn't that always there? Oh, it's got upside down. Thank you. Okay, maybe there are some sneaky anomalies. <laughs> it doesn't tell you which... That's one of the things that is always kind of annoying about Observation Duty games is that they don't tell you which anomalies you missed. Uh, what the fuck is going on here? Someone has brought their alcohol to class. That's not allowed. Pointy man in the painting. Isn't that just supposed to be the painting? Wait, oh, I thought it was just because I was out there that it... Which table? This table? We're at three. I think we're fucked. Uh, this point... Is this painting, like, empty or it just looks empty to me? Laboratory. All this is fine. A fancy look how big these buildings are man like that's fancy a fancy university new trophy appeared no it didn't this one definitely was always there unless we got super trolled skeleton head turned it already changed earlier i'd assume not the clock is totally fine the skeleton is fine it's on the bottom. 
Um, oh, there's some this changed. This was not just one table, right? This was more? Yes. Okay, somehow we're still alive. Which is kind of impressive. These tools are fine. I feel like this frame was a different color before, but I'm probably just wrong. What even is going on over here? Are you just showing pictures to the class? They, uh, freaking demolished my old school. They just destroyed it. My, like, elementary school. I still have dreams about that place. Like, sometimes I'll just be walking around. I'm like, I'll never get to see the building for real again. That's kind of weird. <laughs> like, you'll, that must be the same feeling as other people have when, like, they're... They're like, uh, parents' house gets, like, your parental house gets demolished or, or, like, changed. That's weird. We, yeah, we're at, we're, this one is not different, I think. Water running in the lab. There's no what. Is there? No. We, why is this chemistry class? Why is chemistry class so boring? <laughs> we got Japan dollars. Let's go. Um, like chemistry class has all these fucking cool things. And then most of the time you're just working out of your textbook. Wait. Oh, there's a bis. I was like, oh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing the end game music. And then I looked at the time and I was like, wait, it's not end game. Like why? And they got like these like eyeball. You, you guys had the the like thing on the wall that was like two tubes to like fucking cleanse your eyeballs if you got chemicals in there. And you got the thing that you could pull down that looks like, the, like the the water shower. And like <laughs> you never did any chemistry experiments. It was just fucking like you like why why in like uh, movies you always have that. Like chemistry teacher that blows things up, but then when you actually go to chemistry class, it's just like nothing. You don't do anything cool. Like, wait, is this bench? Was there a bench here ever? I feel like in order to maintain the symmetry, the symmetry, there should have been a bench there. I guess not. I mean, my teacher, I, I've had some peculiar. <laughs> I've had some peculiar um, chemistry teachers. Chemistry and what is the other? I guess just science. Chemistry and science. Um, or physics. Physics. That's the one. Physics. Uh, I had some peculiar physics teachers, to say the least. I still remember one of my classmates playing like tug of war with his backpack with one of my teachers i don't think i'll ever get oh come on <laughs> no we the anomalies have taken over we did actually lose once now we gotta retry <laughs> wait we get an anomaly report oh here you go you missed lob or extra object in the lobby okay so you only get the report if you lose door anomaly in the classroom an extra object in the courtyard. Okay. I see. Let's play again and see if we can find these. So, yes. Door anomaly in the classroom. Door anomaly? Extra object in the... What was the extra object here? An extra lantern, maybe? This has always been there. There's always three benches. Oh, there was an extra fucking tree here! <laughs> And then what was the other thing? Something in the lobby. Extra object and the, the plants, the fucking flowers. Oh no, YouTube's gonna kill us for not paying attention. Oh my God. I was talking about this at the very beginning that I was like, oh, it's so fun to have Twitch chat on the side because they'll always like, you'll never miss anomalies and you'll never be annoyed. And then the YouTube commenters are gonna be like, God fucking damn it. Talking about bullshit instead of paying attention to the damn vases. The flower pots. Okay, so we literally just... That was just three men. So I just also don't know what the anomaly here was. The door? 
Door, like, what with the door? The door looked the same. There's no extra... This light is always broken, right? And these guys are the same. There's nothing with those. Or was there a door here? There's two doors. I guess they're normal. Why are we to blame? Because you got more eyes than I do. Oh, uh, there's the person I can See? Now we get to see these. <laughs> Why doesn't it make like a flopping noise? I love the tracking on these objects. Like. I wish it would make like a, like a, like a thunk. <laughs> Slap noise. I don't know if that made the right noise. You're not aliens. You combine. The hive mind's got more eyes. The slap. Come on. Yeah, where's huge man? What? What did sometimes it feels like the audio breaks. Like I just now realized like out here it's totally totally peaceful and nice. And then in here is just a horror town. Spooky time. You don't hear any audio? Yeah, the, the inside doesn't have any audio. I could have literally accidentally muted the whole game and no one would have noticed. But that's always been a thing in Observation Duty games. They've never had, like, background music. Which a lot of people were like, what the hell? I think as a streamer, I'm just so... I think it honestly helps me. <laughs> as a... Wait, huh? Did this move in the previous one or was this always i swear the two were close and oh, i don't know um also we're definitely missing something uh i think especially i mean for youtubers i don't like youtubers not the flame youtubers or anything i'm i'm one of them i know him he's me being a youtuber is i'm not saying that streaming is a hard job or whatever but I am def as someone who has been both a YouTuber and a streamer, I can tell you with 100% certainty that being a YouTuber is so easy compared to being a streamer. Because whenever I record videos for YouTube only, literally all I do is just talk whenever I have shit to say. And then when I don't have shit to say, I just stare at my screen in silence knowing that later on in the adobe premiere file i have a flat line of no audio where i need to make a cut and i just click at the start of my silence click at the end of my silence and boom no silence whereas whenever not only do i have to talk bullshit all stream when i'm streaming to, to make people laugh and keep people entertained i can't just fucking sit here and do nothing <laughs> that's first thing uh, and second thing, making cuts for YouTube is so fucking annoying because there's no obvious cut because I'm always talking. So instead of just having like a flat line in the audio graph that I can just use to make my YouTube cuts, like editing... Oh, wait, it's going backwards. Right? I think so. Or no, it's going forward. Never mind. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Editing a stream is far more difficult than editing a YouTube videos. Make us laugh, Twitch man. <laughs> Say nothing stream. Yeah, I'm just sitting here. That's, and that's why I'm saying, oh wait, there was something here, right? Or um, wasn't there something on the stand? That's why I'm saying, oh no, there wasn't. Like when games don't have background noise, uh, it can be like it, it gives you a nice excuse to be quiet if there's good background noise. So this game just like That's why observation duty keeps me talking because if I'm quiet, there's nothing <laughs> No comment. Yeah, and there's gotta be I mean obviously like there's a lot of one viewer streamers or zero viewer streams Where it's just like a no commentary stream a lot of like I mean, I, I've been through it. I know how it is. It's weird as hell to talk when no one is there and you're not, like, having chat interaction. Because a lot of people, like, disillusion themselves and they're like, well, I like watching my favorite streamer. How about I do that? And then they look at the chat box and the chat box is empty and they're like, oh, what do I do now? 
My brother in Christ, we've been trained. I would be saying shit even if there was no one. Because that's like the way it works. You need to go through that process to be able to actually talk. Tree! <laughs> Tree! You need to go through... There's an extra tro trophy. Chat is suffering. Okay, let me fix this for you. Is there? <laughs> Wait! Which one? Which one? This this one? I don't think so. Weren't there always four? I think there's always four. I think I've been lied to. I think I've been lied to. Yes, there's always four. The painting in the middle is definitely wrong though. <laughs> You're totally that one's cursed. There's hanging bodies and everything. So yeah, I think people get like a misunderstanding. People get a misunderstanding that a stream is a lot of talking. I'm telling you, like, like 90% of all streams on Twitch are like zero to five fewer streams because that's just pure numbers, a numbers game. So most of the time on Twitch is spent of someone talking to no one, which that is like good practice. Because I'm telling you, if you're like noob ass streamer when you're just starting out, and I can tell you because I was a fucking dumbass and no one. Oh, there's a skeleton in the class. Um, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'm so happy no one saw the shit that I made when I was starting out. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. It gives you time to be better and to become better. And, like, not be so fucking awkward. I mean, maybe this is just a me problem. <laughs> but it's, you need that, like, period of no viewers to train yourself to talk to no one. Because even when you have 20 to 60 viewers, which I was in for, like, a year, there is still no one talking, and you gotta be talking. So just train your commentary game. Like, that is the... Because the problem, I mean, I, I don't know if this is the problem, um, but a, a dumb, oh, hi there. Like some, me, like the mindset of some, because I have, I don't know how Reddit works, man. I like don't use Reddit ever. The only times I use Reddit, which is like somehow every day, they're so genius at this. Like I get a push notification that's like from Twitch or like Twitch's Reddit page or like, Am I the asshole page? And it's just like a like the 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 name of a post. Was there door is the door different? The door is open. Guys, the door's supposed to be open. Get with the program. Uh that's when I like for some reason Reddit has like completely figured out the type of posts I click on. Like they'll literally be sir maybe over here. Isn't this the fucking exact same door? Isn't this that door? Yeah, you guys are fucking snuffing paint, man. Snuffing? I mean sniffing. I watched a video. Someone sniffed paint for five hours. This is what happened to his brain. And I'm telling you, you don't want to be sniffing that paint. That guy's brain did not last long. <laughs> oh my god, there's somebody in there. Why would you do that? I don't know why he did that. I just watched the YouTube video. What kind of videos do I get in my recommended? That type of videos. <laughs> That's the exact type of videos I get recommended. Like someone eats a bunch of garbage. This is what happened to his stomach. You watched the whole five hours. <laughs> I didn't watch the man sniffing paint. I just watched his brain explode. I was there for the fun part. <laughs> I'm concerned. Oh my. Oh, hi. She's walking? Is it gonna track you? It is. What the? F She's just walking around. Emily wants to play. That might be the worst horror game that has ever become popular. Emily wants to play. 
It is genuinely so bad. I have played like thousands of horror games and that might be my top five worst games I've ever played. Just like Garden of Bonbon. I mean, Garden of Bonbon never got popular. And the crazy part about Emily Wants to Play is that it genuinely got popular somehow. I don't understand. What's the worst? I don't know. I'd have to think. I actually still made a video about that. If you want to see why I hate it so much, watch my video. I was not pulling any punches. <laughs> I was not afraid, and I've never been afraid sharing when I don't like a game, which is my most of the time I just cut a video when I don't like the game, because I will be absolutely fucking dumpstering all over it. But that one I still uploaded because I found it so baffling that it became, that that was such a popular game, yet it was, like, oh, uh, distortion. This is so weird. The only way I see distortion is by like weird glitches in the in the video. What's the pointing painting? Is there graffiti? Wait. Do you have did you always have eyebrows like this? I feel like this is yeah, that's different. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um I'm gonna report you. Oh god, I missed. No, I didn't miss. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> I got an achievement for that. Meet the principal. <laughs> what the fuck? So when you report the painting, he starts attacking. Dude, I love these interactions. This is very cool. I'm I'm glad to see these. Like that was my favorite part. Like, Huge Man is one of my favorite parts of the I'm on Observation Duty games. So I'm really glad to see that every map kind of has a Huge Man. Which I wonder which one has the actual Huge Man, because we haven't seen that yet. Shadow on Lobby Stairs. It's literally just, like, the sun casting shadows. Welcome to real life get out of your basement there is sunlight out there and it is indeed casting shadows chair oh there's a missing chair yes i got a basement in my new house by the way i'm very excited to have a basement <laughs> i've never been in a house with a basement before i got never go in the basement the basement got the basement has a bathroom. It's sick. It's like you could, I could turn that into like a movie studio. Freaking awesome. We balling. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't even know why I I I've looked at a lot of houses, but this house just like I immediately was like, oh yeah, that shit's awesome. <laughs> That's my favorite room in the house. I mean, the, the garden is awesome. I just, like, I don't know if anyone, like, as a child, I had a, my parents lived in a house with a garden, and that shit was the bomb. Oh, the periodic tables upside down again. Um, and I was just, like, playing in the garden all the time. And then we moved to a house with, like, a stone garden. Can anyone explain to me the existence and the purpose of stone gardens? Because I don't get it. <laughs> Why do they exist? <laughs> like, I guess no upkeep, but it is perhaps the worst human invention of all time. <laughs> what is a stone garden? It's a garden that is mostly made out of, like, tiles, where you just, like, put garden furniture on it, and you just sit in the garden, and that's it. Like, there's no... There's no grass. Like, there's plants... There's plants. Oh, there's a flying lady. <laughs> but in my opinion, if a garden doesn't have grass, it's not a real garden. There has to be at least some grass. You have to have grass. What about stone grass? What does that even mean? Lobby? What? I'm in the lobby. 
What's in the lobby? Sign. Oh, gurgling, growling, screaming, wheezing. <laughs> all right, all right, I get it, I get it. Miss Potato, thank you for the gift sub. All right, dude. Clock is still moving. The door is still open. I still don't understand what this door was. What am I gonna grow in my garden? Grass! <laughs> oh, there's a leg. I don't I don't actually care for plants. I just want grass, man. <laughs> That's just the lawn? Yeah. <laughs> don't judge me. You go plants. I am busy. I got shit to do. I'm not gonna, like, maintain a bunch of plants. I'm just gonna have my automatic lawnmower machine cut my grass every morning. And I'm gonna have nice grass for the rest of my life. Without anything that I need to do. <laughs> Lawns still need to be looked after. That's why I got the grass robot! <laughs> Every morning? Yeah, that's the whole point of the robot. Didn't you watch the new who, Who's the Boss, Mr. Who's the Boss video? He, like, talked about how his lawnmower robot is, like, his favorite piece of tech that he owns. Where, like, the way it works is it just cuts the grass every single morning. And because it the grass only grows, like, so little every morning. Or maybe it's not every morning, but, like, fucking, like, Many times a week. Like, because it, it doesn't need to have a container to cut, to keep the grass in. Because it just... It just cuts it and it just falls on the floor because it's so little every day. A Groomba. A grass Roomba. I thought for a second this was distorting. Oh, lights. Replace it with moss. Wait, oh, I have to just do it this way. Why sometimes do I have to do it this way and other times I don't have to do it? How long until we see an insim robot? Yeah, I hate to break it. I have an announcement. I'm going to be turning into an AI streamer. I still can't understand how people are actually doing that. Like, some of the AI streams are funny. Like, the... Is that still going? The Donald Trump versus Biden AI stream? Where the whole joke was just that every single sentence started with like, you cocksucker piece of garbage. <laughs> and that was the whole joke. Every single sentence, they would just say a bunch of swear words in like residential voices. And then they would say some like Chad GPT garbage mumbo jumbo. And then they would start another sentence with like a bunch of swear words again. <laughs> AI streamers? Yeah, have you not seen the GTA streamer that turned himself into AI? And it doesn't even- Oh, there's a ghost. He's got a question! <laughs> What's your question, Mr. Ghost? I'm gonna get you out of here, though. You keep seeing YouTube shorts of that? Of the, the AI streamer? <laughs> uh, the Trump and Biden thing? Uh, what was that sound? Did you hear that? Something fell over. I don't know what it was. I only looked at it once. Hi! <laughs> Terrifying. The fuck? He's looking, dude. Hello there. We still need lore, man. We still need to be explained how the anomalies are fixed. Like, who does it and why? And how is it done so fast? I need this explained to me. What are you looking at? They eat them. Who's done it? I do it, Sandy. Thank you for the 11. We're actually cruising this time. We didn't get a warning yet, right? I mean, I guess we literally only missed three anomalies last time. 
Timothy. We haven't... Well, Timothy kind of looked like the guy in the pool from earlier. These maps are so... They, these maps are actually, like, vastly different. They're fun maps. I think only so far as, like, a review, I would say, is that... It's a little... Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just... Maybe we're just better at it. But I feel like it's way slower paced than the... the oh! <laughs> Let's go! Holy shit! Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> it's huge, man! He's huge and he's here! Can we, if we zoom in on him? Please tell me you zoom in on him if you click this. He's gonna go like... Do you mean huge, man? No one... Oh my god. <laughs> oh baby, he's majestic. <laughs> Dude. Uh, oh my. What the fuck? I'm getting slapped by Mr. Huge Man, dude. <laughs> Wait. What the fuck? I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna click. Help. I'm gonna die. <laughs> What? Meet huge man, I've been killed, dude! <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, dude, you missed intruder and object. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I couldn't. Do How do you report him? Do you just die? I guess you just die. Man, this. I keep losing on this one. You know, well, we gotta try again, right? <laughs> what the hell? Did you have to right click him? How do you do that? There's no report for him. I can't right click opens this menu. I think I think what you're supposed to do, which I actually that would be so funny if that's the way to do it, is you have to leave him. You can't report him. Or maybe the menu changes and it says huge man, maybe. Yeah, maybe. We're gonna have to try again. This is important. I'm ha dude, it's amazing that we lost last time. So we got to see huge man. I wonder if he's on multiple maps. Because it did say something about a huge man on the summer cottage, right? There was also a huge man. What if he can show up on every single one of them? It was fate. Riley, thank you for the pram. Huge man is worth dying to. I can't believe they made it. <laughs> like, what, at that point, what could I even do? Because I was stuck in that screen. I couldn't move away. There has to have been a, a way to report him, right? I just messed it up. I should have known that. Now we can also see the principal again. Like when I got slapped in the face a bunch, I should have probably guessed that that was going to go wrong. That's on me. Definitely worth it. It's sterile. They give it a 10. Yeah, it's an achievement. Let's see how many achieve. I got 9 of 20. There's still so m There's also a hidden achievement, probably for the secret ending. There's so many different anomalies that have achievements attached to them. There's, I mean, there's literally only one more achievement for finishing a map, which is this one, which we haven't done because I suck every time. Um, wait. There was definitely stuff here, right? It all disappeared. This is way too clean. Yes. <clears throat> when is the game dropping on Steam? On Friday this week. Your boy Raven, they give it the 11. Right. I freaking knew it. I mean, Huge Man is never leaving any anymore. He is a mainstay of the series now. I I think the one thing that's like a missed opportunity with all of the Observation Duty games is no custom mode. They need to add a custom mode where you can like maybe pick or choose which cameras you... Like where you can pick between all the cameras from all the maps or something or maybe just play on each map with like custom settings like... Faster time, faster anomalies, something like that. I feel like with a game like this, that would be so easy to implement. And that would be... Lead to even more replayability. Because that, that was one thing I really... I, I mean, I did it. Not in a, like, game... Like, game legal way. But I, I when I sped up... When I played alternate watch at double speed, that was actually really interesting. I do see why you guys thought this was a shadow of a person, but it's literally just this thing projected on the wall. Still dance, thank you for the nine. <clears throat> yeah, we need we need uh, a huge man only challenge. 
where every anomaly is huge man and it's like different sizes of huge man like sometimes he's just peeking around the corner sometimes he's like sitting uh, sitting under a table <laughs> and then this guy becomes huge man he's standing on the roof huge man is everywhere i'm I, i'm i've never I've luckily never had to remember the periodic table. Are they still finding new elements, by the way? Wasn't there like a time in history where they just kept inventing or not inventing, but finding elements? Not really. Yes, I'm getting two diametrically opposite answers. Yes and no. They decay too fast. What is even the point, really? There's probably a huge point to making new radioactive elements, but... Make bigger bombs. <laughs> so Oppenheimer can be happy. I don't think Oppenheimer will be happy with that. Fuel. I mean, I don't know how realistic the portrayal of the Oppenheimer movie was. But he didn't seem to like the bombs very much. It's just... I like that they... Including achievements in, in Observation Duty was such a genius thing to do. Like, retroactively adding it to all the other uh, observation duties. I don't know if this is just a me thing. Oh, what the fuck? I love achievements. Like, and I think so many games do achievements poorly and dumb. Something like uh, p any Paradox game has such good achievements. But that is like, too, that you need too many ways to play your game to make achievements like paradox like i either like something like a paradox game where the achievements are like ways you can play the game like you can be out of ideas like how do i play what am i gonna do in my next round and then you can just look at the list of achievements and be like oh i'll do that achievement and then you do that specific challenge to get that achievement uh or you should make it something like brotato which i all achievement run or did an all achievement run for uh in my own time where the achievements are very achievable like in about like 50 hours or something you can do all achievements like if you have a fun replayable game adding like having like a good amount of achievements like maybe 30 achievements where they require some form of challenge but they aren't repetitive because i think the main problem that a lot of achievements have I don't know if there's anyone who played Cultist Simulator, but that's a game I got into recently that I... You are... You again? That I wanted to, um, like, do achievements for, and then I was, like, looking at the achievements list, and they got potentially the worst achievements I've ever seen, like, ever. The game takes so long, and there's, like, I don't know, like, hundreds of achievements for finishing the game and then choosing, like, one different choice at the end. Like, it's so boring. It's so stupid. Like, there is no, no interesting change in any of the achievements. Because I really like finishing a game. Like, I really like be getting really into a game, doing all the achievements, and then, like, feeling like, okay, I finished this one, and then moving on to a different game. So I, I really appreciated when game developers really thought about the achievements that they added to their game, so they're not boring. Or, like, repetitive as hell. Like, for example, in this game, I think the achievements are perfect for, like, a casual player. Um, you can just play every map, win every map, and then every map has a specific anomaly. So you're hunting for something. <clears throat> Minecraft achievements. I mean, Minecraft has very weird achievements where you don't, don't really... They don't feel like achievements, at least in my opinion. Because they've always been weird. I don't know. Minecraft has... Like, they have achievements in the sense that normal games have achievements. But, like, I don't know. The way they pop up are is weird to me. Like, they just pop up in the chat and they're like... Insim achieved... Uh, like, iron... Making iron achievement or something. And you're like, what? <laughs> it's just, like, so... So random. They just pop them up and then they're gone. There's no light missing here. We will be playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre tomorrow, as I was saying. We're gonna get the whole squad. 
Well, not, not the whole... Well, is a squad always four people? Or can a squad also be three people? DVD 2.0. It's three or... It can any amount of people. Dude, that unlocks a whole new... Wait. Or squad is... Okay, squad is four by... D I think people... Oh, what the fuck? Squad is four by default. Because it's... I don't know. I know... Oh, he, people were talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know you can play with three or four. I wonder how long that game is gonna last. Does anyone still play the Sea Inc? That game looked like it could potentially stick around as an asymmetric horror, or not horror, but asymmetric game. But I don't hear anyone play that anymore. But maybe they still do, I don't know. You play it? Google says a squad is 7 to 14 people. What? If you Google a squad is technically 9 to 10, we're getting different answers. What is going on here? This doesn't make sense. Why your team is four people? That sounds illegal. Yeah, I know it's 3v4, the game that we were talking about, but that's not what, what my question was. The question was, what, what? So are they going to do an auto autopsy here? What the hell? Just read the tutorials tomorrow. Okay, then I'll read the tutorials probably today or tomorrow before stream. I don't want to spend the whole stream reading tutorials. Especially when we're, I, I should tell that to CJ and Psycho. Because they're going to be confused otherwise. You love cadaver class? I never did. Is there like a thing that actually happens in classes? Do you guys actually have to like dissect like a live frog or something? Or I guess they're already killed. But that's like, I've never had to dissect a frog. We did do something with, with like organs. We did do like, like something with sheep's heart or something. I think we did something like that. But it was so janky. But like we never just like straight up like cut the organs out of like a frog. <laughs> Seems weird. That feels more personal than just getting like, here's a heart, find the aorta or whatever. <laughs> like point out the different arteries. And you just like gotta pu put sticks in the arteries. <laughs> and like the different parts of the heart you need to point out or whatever. Spot the difference frog edition. Are we losing? Hats? There's no way you dissected a cat in school. That is fucked up, if so. A dead cat? What the hell? <laughs> There's just no way. I don't believe it. That is some trauma-inducing bullshit. <laughs> you did cats? Really? No way. That's actually fucked. Why no dogs, huh? Any dog lovers in the chat? Equal opportunity dissections. You get to choose between either dog or cat dissection. <laughs> This is not... The clock? Oh, you're right. It's finally broken. That actually seems insane. I, I was expecting people to say, No, we never dissected frogs. That's barbaric. And then someone comes around. No, we dissected cats instead. It's far worse than I thought. Were the doors always open? Yes. Oh, oh my god! What the fuck? What, you're sawing the whole thing in half? He's dissecting a body. <laughs> oh, meet the doctor achievement, let's go! This might hurt a lot. <laughs> meet the doctor, let's go. 
I love it. I wish they would just like lean into the lore a little more. Like, because like huge man has this whole cutscene related to him. I want more of that. Okay, this is this is making me want to dive into the other maps as well. Because we only did one pass through all the other maps. And yet, and then the university map is this whole, like, adventure. That means this is only one of the maps. All the other maps we did once. This one we've done, like, three times by now. We should check them out again and see if there's any cool stuff there as well. Meet the medic. Isn't Team Fortress 2 uh, having, like, a resurgence recently? I had one friend in university who played Team Fortress 2 every, every single day. They are... Some, for some reason, people just keep playing those games for all time. Oh, hi there, you're back! They added the ability to have like a hundred players on a single server. That sounds like old... Phasmo. When the lobbies got hacked and shit. Old Phasma was the Wild West. I have some screenshots, like, from a long time ago that I'm, I'm still sitting on, like, one screenshot that I might eventually ever use for a thumbnail that's just, like, a room full of bodies. Because <laughs> it's just... I remember, I, there was... Do you guys remember that one fucking bug? The one bug in Phasma. I don't know. How, how do I search this video? The body glitch. I don't think. Uh, if I... T is, is YouTube smart enough that when I search in sim body glitch, in sim body dead dead body glitch, it will give me the video I'm talking about? Dude, it's actually crazy. How is YouTube this smart? You should look up that video. There's a bug where you can die like a hundred times. It's so funny. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even title the video that. I mean, I titled it, the new update has an insane glitch and it's hilarious. So I guess it, I guess it found it that way, but still pretty impressive. Oh, shake it. Bah! Control, alt, defeat. Thank you for the three. No, it was lit. How did it even work? I don't remember how it worked. How did this even work? You just die? Oh, it was with the board. If you hold the board. If you hold the Ouija board and you break it and then die, it wouldn't kill you. It would just spawn a dead body. That was how it worked. So you, you held the board, you broke it in your hand, and then you would get bugged out. And you couldn't die. You would just spawn infinite amounts of dead bodies. It was incredible. I don't know if... The, maybe the same for carts. I don't know. It was definitely the board, though. The one I'm thinking of. Why is nothing happening? Is something wrong? What even... Oh, this is a light. There was another one where you could, like, bounce the VR cart. Or in VR, you could bounce the carts around or something. That was in VR specifically. This one again. Video is 28 minutes. We need highlights. Not a long video. If you've ever seen any of my videos, they're all like two hours long. Blame YouTube for that, by the way. If I ever upload a video that's under one hour, no one gets to see it. YouTube only recommends videos that are longer than an hour for me. So, if you get annoyed by the length of my videos, it's not, it's not my fault. <laughs> I have to make them longer than an hour. You'll see it tonight. I mean, maybe this one goes viral because I said it wouldn't. But there's like this, this FNAF video that I'm uploading later today. I'm telling you, it's like 30 minutes long. It's gonna suck ass, because for some reason, YouTube doesn't like it. I don't know why. I guess it's just because watch time. But, like, it doesn't make any sense, because so many channels, like, upload videos that are, like, 10 minutes long, and they get lots of views. But I don't know why it's specifically for my channel. Why is nothing happening, by the way? This is definitely wrong. 
I want to get the principal again. Principal man. Oh, there's a wall. Skeleton moved. Did it? Wants huge man. Yeah, I really hope we see huge man again. That's why we're here. We'll see huge man or the principal. This doesn't feel like the... I really thought the huge man would be on the summer cottage. That's why I started with it. Because I was like, that seems like the map where huge man's gonna be. Oh, there's something in the cards. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. You, I know the bug you're talking about with the tarot cards. That's where... You can still do that, probably. Because <laughs> there's a bug that if you both pick up the tarot cards at the same time, you can pull infinite cards. And then if you get a hanged man card and keep spamming, you die like 50 times at once. It's very funny. But that's not the same I was talking about. I was talking about the bug where you die, but you don't die. You, like, leave a dead body behind, and then you don't actually die. <laughs> I think you still, like, have to quit the game because it completely bugs out your character, but it doesn't kill you. But yeah, that, I think you can still do that. I don't... I mean, unless they... I don't think they fixed the duping glitch where you pick up items at the same time as someone else, and then it, like, bugs out the thing completely. I'm pretty sure that's still the case. Wasn't it with the Ouija board? Yeah, that's what I just said. That was- I literally only did that Ouija board thing once. There's so, been so many fun bugs in Phasmo. And all of them get fixed so fast. Like, the more fun the bug, the faster it get fi gets fixed. Feels bad, man. Every no-key challenge ever gets fixed in like two days. Is some camera missing? One, two, three, four, five, six. No. We're still not, still not despairing or growling or whatever. No, it's definitely, like... I don't understand the way that bugs get fixed in Phasmo. Because, like... There will literally be, like, a game-breaking bug, like, the smudge stick bug. That is just, like, killing, like, hundreds, if not thousands, if not tens of thousands of people. Like, every day the bug is there. And they'll fix it, like, a week after the update comes out. <laughs> and then there'll be, like, a bug where if you do this specific, like, different key combination, you'll be able to shoot yourself across the map. And that one gets fixed in like 24 hours. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? Why? Why do the why do the specific bugs that don't hurt anyone get fixed right away, but the broken ones they they take forever? That's the duality of Phasmo. I'll always I'll always be beefing with the devs about bugs. <laughs> Juju, thank you for the 25. This is... Did you guys have a bag ent back entrance in your... Uh... In your, uh, like, auditorium like this? Without that, I would have had... Like... That is such a genius invention, because it literally, like, makes everyone not... Like, if someone comes late, which there's always people that are late, they don't interrupt anything. Like, imagine in this situation, if someone's late, they have to go like this to get to their place. They're gonna distract everyone. The teacher's gonna be, oh, look who's come out of their bed. Haha, -ha. everyone laughs in the class and the guy feels terrible. And then, <laughs> and instead you can just keep going and nothing happens. I never had, is that like a thing that actually happens by the way? I just, I know I just made a joke about it, but like teachers in university that like genuinely get upset with people that are late. I've never seen it in my life. Like, as long as you don't, like, interrupt everything, but that's, like, just a general rule. Why would you care? I don't know why you would care. Like, I, I get- oh my god, hi. I guess you don't have much better- much better things to do. But why the fuck would you care about someone coming to your class light? And I was gonna say that earlier, but... Like, I don't understand people that don't go to their lectures. 
The only times I've ever skipped lectures and any computer science student can agree with me on this is when you get fucking search algorithms and data structures explained to you for the seven millionth time. If I hear about bread first search one more fucking time, I'm gonna kill someone. <laughs> If you show me how depth first search works one more fucking time, one more search algorithm, and I am gonna flip the shit. <laughs> so that that those were genuinely the only classes I've ever skipped. When I saw on the schedule that they were just gonna talk about like breadth first and depth first search for a whole lecture, I was like, bye, I'm laying in bed. But every single that is the, like that only happened like four times. And I think I, I stood up in a lecture twice because I was like, okay, the only thing that they're going to explain from this point on was just shit I already know. Um, but I've never skipped a lecture being like, I just rather sleep. Like that's why are you even going to college if you're not going to go to your lectures? I just don't get it. You're making your life so much harder and you... Like, getting out of bed early to go to your lecture so you know the shit that's gonna be on the test. Like, you have no self-discipline nor, like, future planning capabilities if you skip your lectures for those reasons. Because not only are you laying in bed instead of working, which, welcome to get ready to learn Chinese, buddy. We're all fucking tired every day. The fact that you stayed up until six doesn't make you special. That's everyone. Get the class, you piece. <laughs> and especially because you were playing video games. <laughs> Me included. <laughs> I was playing video games. Can we get huge man, please? <laughs> so yeah. Just go to your lecture, no matter how tired you are, and then just, like, save the PowerPoint presentation, and, like, don't even necessarily have to make notes. Just pay attention to the PowerPoint presentation so that later when you see the PowerPoint presentation again when you're studying for the test, uh, you have some kind of recognition. Like, obviously, you're not going to remember everything. But literally, the only way I thought I learned for any exam, the periodic tables upside down, is just by going through all the PowerPoint presentations. That was the whole way I... Because every teacher... Like every class, the way the classes work is that you get a book of some sorts that is like attached to the class. Like you have like, we're in this class, we're gonna go through some chapters of this one book. And then uh, like they'll say on the schedule, like, okay, these and these chapters are gonna be covered in this, but they never cover all the things in the chapters. So going to the lectures allows you to filter all of the shit that they don't cover. Because every single teacher, I've only had like two teachers that use things that they didn't talk about in the lecture in the test. Literally like 99% of all the tests on it on or all the questions on a test are from shit that they talked about during the lectures. Because teachers aren't evil and they they want you to have learned from what they told you. Like it's such a eyebrows eyebrows. I want to see him. We're gonna get, we're gonna get killed. Get ready. <laughs> what? Can, shall we die? I really want to. What happens if you get close to him, man? Are we gonna die? <laughs> I'm gonna report him when we. Okay, I should probably report him now. Oh god, he has many eyes. Ah! Oh my god, we just just in time. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, well, we'll never know what happens. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> we won. That's like, uh, the skinny prince from I'm on Observation Duty 5, I think. Yeah, you're just making it so much harder. Um, if you don't go through the lectures. Like I know, I knew so many people that didn't go to the lectures and then they would study like a hundred times more for the exam than you had to because they didn't know, like they didn't know how to filter the, the study material because 
if there's anything that's important is to know how to filter what you because they'll always say like you have to study like these 17 chapters and it's up to you to efficiently filter which of the information in those 17 chapters is actually important and the lectures make that possible i never took notes by the way like i never took notes i would just i mean sometimes like in some situations like because like even the teachers that would use like whiteboards for their teaching they would like copy the whiteboard and it was very common for like if someone wrote on a whiteboard there was just like a moment where everyone could take photos of the whiteboard like no teacher ever went like you should be taking notes you should have written it down yourself like what fucking stick in your ass dumbass teacher do you have <laughs> like there would just be like a like a two minute break like once the whiteboard was full there would just be like a one minute break where everyone could quickly take pictures of the of the whiteboard like why are you unnecessarily making teaching harder that doesn't make any fucking sense i almost said really nice teachers i mean you just gotta respect the teachers i've had so many of my grades improved by just treating my teachers like human beings so many people like the teacher will make a mistake on their test and the way they'll go about getting it fixed is like going to their teacher and like this is wrong you idiot and then they'll like surprise pikachu face when the teacher doesn't want to give them the point because then they'll admit that they're stupid <laughs> anyway that was easy as hell we did it <laughs> wait we did all the maps now let me check so we have completed yes we have completed every single map oh the subject seems to be markedly more proficient than originally thought. Indeed, none of the previous subjects lasted through the entire experiment. Wait a minute. Have the boys at HQ managed to isolate any outliers from the data? Lore? Analysis is still ongoing, but they are not expecting to find anything with the current hardware. Understood. We should continue monitoring the situation. Do you think we'll be able to find them on time? Oh, oh, why do you ask? I love this. Well, if it has taken us this long to find the first capable subject, how long do you think it will take us to assemble an entire team? At this rate, the anomalies will get out of control. The amount of anomalies taking humanoid forms has skyrocketed lately. It is not our job to worry. There are people with higher salaries that need to worry about that. As long as you do your job and I'll do mine, we don't need to worry about these things. Right. You're right. Just remember what our goal is here. Nothing else matters. Right you are. AJ and JD. It's not... So, which task have they assigned you for tomorrow? Oh, I'm gun I'm on anomaly ed eradication. How about you? Wait. I'm on observation duty. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, we've gone full circle. <laughs> Wait, that's actually sick. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, that was the secret ending. Witness the secret ending. Look at that. He said the thing. Credits time. That's the music. Did the music change of the background? I don't remember it being this derpy. Alrighty, well, that was our first entire round through all of the maps of I'm on Observation Duty 6. We're obviously going to be playing more of this, looking for more of the anomalies. We're definitely going to keep going until we've done all the achievements. There is still at least eight achievement anomalies that we haven't seen before so yeah we're probably gonna do another playthrough where we do all of the maps but i hope you enjoyed at least that uh that first experience that was really cool i like that they actually are building lore to the universe finally with the description of each map and also the like ending sequence right there uh and hopefully we'll only see more of this maybe there's still more to uncover if we do all the things i don't know but anyway i hope you enjoyed that if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the love the gamers here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash it's him or click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye